Yo. Sneak This Podcast, episode 188. Hello. Greg, George, back in the building. First episode of 2020. We appreciate everybody who likes, subscribes, shares, everything on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, Podbean, all, <laughs> all that stuff. Why is this trending? What is it? Why is, why is it? No, just read the tre- what's trending. Yeah, damn. <laughs> <laughs> why is that trending? Weird. Anything trends. Appreciate Somebody got the nerve to say they caught us slipping, man. <laughs> what? Caught us slipping. Yes, U.S. was lacking. Um, appreciate everybody who, you know, like, subscribe, shares, all that stuff. iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, Podbean. We're on every single podcast platform. Appreciate all of our YouTube viewership. We appreciate every single body who comments, shares, likes, subscribes. All of the above. First episode of 2020. George, aren't you excited? I mean, yeah, but I'm not excited for this nuclear war that's about to happen. Fam. All I know is... <laughs> you, just, you just say it like that because I just put, let the mood down for everybody? I don't know about it. I, this is, it's getting out of control. It's, it's, it's definitely got me a little worried. You wouldn't even look at your phone on Saturday when I told you. First of all, you wouldn't tell me. That was a problem. You sat there and, and I said something and you were like, "What are you talking about?" And I said, "Check the news." Nah. And you were like, nah. "All you said was like, wow, or something weird." I didn't like, say that. I said, "What is it?" Yo, check Twitter. I said, "Man, I'm not checking Twitter." I, th- I probably and said, and then you said, "Oh, that's it." I probably said Trump wilding or something like that, no. and you were like, "What?" And no, I said, "Check the did. news." I guarantee you, it was something you like said that. Something like, matter of fact, I'm about to look right now. Go ahead. Um, Christmas been a while. Can you hear me? I feel like this mic has been that long. Uh, Bro, that picture of that uh, car I sent you, that that Top Gun 2, it's a sign. Oh, God. Fire. I might sit in that car and watch the movie. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you should. Kelly McGillis' car from part one. You should have went inside, see if it was for sale. (laughs) All right. I don't know if it's these headphones that working or what. (coughs) Um, I mean, what? Your mic's working. Look at the green line. Hello. That's me. Um, right. Christmas, Christmas good. You get anything? Um, yes, I got from. I mean, so Hannah and I don't really buy presents for adults anymore. We buy like something for her mom, for her stepdad, and then something for my mom normally. Um, but we don't do any other adults just because. Didn't y'all just start that? Yeah, like last year because y'all used to be spending two years racks on each two other. years ago, whatever. Yeah, it was a little um. I had never seen a family spend that much money. Y'all was getting like yes. nice stuff. Yes, right? you didn't know any other white people. I don't. Man. <laughs> I don't know what they do for Christmas. Man, but y'all were buying like real gifts. Uh, I mean, what do multiple? I assume that was normal. Nah, you get like your mom them really nice, and then aunts them. You kind of you know. Nah, see, Christmas is the when you see this is my rule for Christmas. You buy something for someone that you know they want or been talking about, but you know they won't buy it for themselves. So like you should have talked about that used to be my rule. Vapor Max a lot more. Man, I'm not talking about unreasonable stuff. It's got to be <laughs> something for retail or below. And what? You oh, buy? you said something about other podcasts, and I was like, "World about the end don't matter." And you said, "What?" I said, "Turn the turn the news on." You oh, thought you said right. no. Yeah, but you say that about anything. It could have been like Raiders trade. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I was gonna anything. off myself because the Raiders. Been like Jacobs, Jacobs tore his ACL or something. Yeah, if Jacobs like, tears ACL, over. I'm about to tear this shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> you said it anywhere. That's an Oakland brand shirt. It, it says, says Raiders, Raiders on it. Nah, it's though. Oakland though. They got Oakland spirit. I'm not buying. You already know I'm not buying Las Vegas stuff, so it doesn't matter. If you don't buy Las Vegas Raiders stuff, that's it. The only thing I'm buying Las Vegas is a ticket to the game. That's it. I guess the only thing you can do now is cop out Mitchell and Ness. And they don't gamble, to Oakland. And gamble at the stadium. You have to buy throwbacks. Nike B, sponsored. If you at the Oakland Stadium and the slots. Uh, uh, while they said, playing. You I said mean, uh, Oakland Stadium. <laughs> whatever the stadium is called in Vegas. It looked tight, though. I don't play slots. They probably got, I'm sure they got uh, poker upstairs. I huh? hate slot machines. Yeah, in, in the, the club, owner's box. In the club level. Um... So you didn't get nothing? I mean, you guys buy oh, each other. Oh, I didn't something. finish telling that story. Now, Hannah and I didn't buy anything because we spent a lot of money on the house. Um, so technically, we just consider that Christmas present. Um, her parents gave us some stuff. I don't know if her 
stepsisters, whatever. Gave, I don't know. Hannah got Hannah got stuff from my mom. My mom was in Europe forever. She brought some stuff back, like from she was Europe. even there doing. Oh no, no, she came back, oh. but she brought like gifts back from that. So really, it was like that. Like everybody gets like socks and deodorant and whatnot in their stocking. So I got I had a couple stockings, That's obviously necessary. Uh, but I didn't really get. I didn't get anything that people would consider like, oh my God. But I, but that's because I didn't buy any oh my God gifts. Hannah instituted a new rule. She was like, the limit for the kids this year is $60. I was like, dang. I mean, what is it usually? It was unlimited for y'all. I mean, niece got Yeezy for Christmas one year. So now they're retail, but. Yeah, but if you spend a certain amount on one kid, do you spend the same amount on another? I don't look at it like that. I just look at it uh, like, is the gift nice? Because she said now it's different because they're teenagers, and if they post it on IG, then the other one will be, like, getting her calculator out, like, do you got it this much? Well, that's what I'm going to say. Like, if you buy one Yeezys, <laughs> and then you got the know, other kids one. kids do that? I don't know, something less priced than Yeezys, they wouldn't be like, yo, why is she got That was Yeezys? before we got married, though, I think. Or I don't know. Maybe it wasn't. I have no, no it idea. Wasn't. It was the last year was the year y'all just started this adult thing. No, it was two years ago. It was about two years now. Yeah, not not. This past year, the year before that, you started it, and then, yeah. Yeah, Yeezys was before we got married, because it was 2017. Oh, you got married last year? 2018. Oh, beats me. March 2018, right? Oh, I don't know. Bruh. I don't know my own wedding anniversary. Man, why are you, you trying to confuse me? Oh, oh yes. I, March 2018 is when we got married, and it was the Christmas before that when she got Yeezys. Not that that matters, but I didn't look at it like, I don't know, Hannah, we got an argument about it. She was, hey. she was mad at me. I said, I don't look at it like one is getting favoritism over the other. I just look at it as like, this is a nice gift for like, my thing is like, if you tell me what you want and it's within reason, I mean, probably a high chance you're going to get it. I don't like, you know, I'm not talking about a $500, $400 uh, gift or whatever. Yeah, like, I'm like, just talking about like within reason. If I spend $200 on one kid, I got to spend $200 on the other kid. It has to be of equal value. Yeah, but see, I don't look at it like that. Like, that's what she was trying to do. And I just was saying, like, if you get one Yeezys and you get one Air Max 90, they both got shoes. Who care what the difference in the price is? Oh, no, that matters. Why? It just does. I don't th see. I don't think it does. I don't think. I don't think like that. See, you can't do that with shoes. You can do that with like headphones. If one kid got AirPods and one kid got Beats by the ones you like, Beats then, cost way more. Yeah, it costs way more, but they're, they're headphones, essentially. Like, <clears throat> Yeezys and Air Max 90s they're shoes but one is different than the other yes it is the same it's the same thing because if you I your mean, music isn't coming out better in one than the other it's like oh music music that's it talk man. talk talk that's what it is so you can't that's the difference Beats by Dre <laughs> wireless is way better okay no it's not it is no, no it's facts not. no it's yes, maybe it is. it is but it's it ridiculous is. so it doesn't matter the you case the case is about as big as a notepad the joints are ridiculously big <laughs> on your ears oh they're, they're not are you crazy? I see somebody walking through the airport. And I thought he had on, uh, I thought he had the thing that's clear. It like he had on, them joints was crazy. All right, huh? you looking at, you th must have been the wrong ones because yeah, them joints <laughs> barely go on your ear and it wraps around. That's it. No, them joints look crazy, you know. Especially if you don't got another color besides black. Am I walking around with white ones? I'm like, bro, you look crazy, bro. You smoking, huh? Anyways. You so must have got something it. else at QC, you know? Yes, I got vodka. <laughs> what, at, uh, what about New Year's? Did I do anything for New Year's? Nah, we stayed home. We were thinking about Ugh. going. We were thinking about going like sports bar or whatever, just to like get a drink at you know like eleven forty five or whatever. Like, friends house every year, so I'm gonna do a party. <coughs> nah, we don't ever plan anything. Hannah might have like I don't know if her sister did something one year, but she got younger friends, you know, from the restaurant, so they like to do stuff. So she got invited to that. She might have gone, but we just stayed home. But we flew back that day, so we landed at like seven, and then came home. I was oh. like, I didn't really feel like doing nothing. Like I said, we called. She called the um, cold beers around the corner just to see if they were closing at midnight or one or whatever. Like, I don't know if they're having special hours for New Year's. They close at 11. We're like, oh, we ain't going nowhere. <laughs> she thought about going to get like one drink at midnight or something, and that's it. Nope. Yeah, I can open the fridge and get a drink. I mean, that's not the same, but. It's the same. <laughs> no, it's not. Um, Christmas, was, Christmas was great this year. I got everything I asked for, which I never do. I got a. I, I, what did you ask for? I got an Apple Watch now. I didn't know that was a thing. So I'm lit. You talking about g big gifts? Are you getting a big no, gift? No, no, no. This was the first year me and Rocio actually said let's buy gifts. We've never bought oh, Christmas yeah. gifts for each other yeah. ever. Yeah, you tripping? So we were like, okay, you know what? 
we've been married long enough. Enough of this. We make plenty of money. We got this. We should be buying Christmas gifts for each other. Let's just do a, a price limit. Our fa- her family does a Secret Santa every single year. We spend 150 on our Secret Santa, and then us we. Have so you just limit. buy it for one person. Uh, pretty much. I mean, we buy for all the kids, but like all the adults, we've never have. We oh, actually, you know what she does still. She'll still give them like a small gift, but we spend 150, 200 on one person. And yeah, then, see y'all lit. Huh? You talking and about me? That's that's better. Oh, well, technically, we spend like three, four hundred because it's two of us. Got to do it with whatever, but that's better. You guys spend two hundred on every person in your entire family. Facts. Um, but Christmas was fine. I got that. I got a new work bag. My Herschel work bag, absolutely fire. It's a work bag and a backpack thing, fire. Uh, I'm so glad I got that and an Apple Watch, fam. I'm so lit with this Apple Watch. It's not even funny, though. I've never felt as tight as I do now. Uh, I was tight before, but yo, I'm really tight now. So. That's facts. Huh? I don't even understand why you look at me like that. Rich. Nah, B. It's just about time. Walking around with watches. I, there's only one other watch I do want, and that's when I like super dress up, and that's the one you got. What's it called? Shenandoah? I want one of them. <laughs> Shenoas? Yeah, Shenandoah Valley. What the joy's called? Shinola. Shinola. I want one of those just when I'm <laughs> super dressed up. Like, I'm talking like... Maybe suit dressed up, but probably tuxedo dressed up. I mean, you don't... Mm-hmm. What? I wore suits. You don't wear. Don't. T- you don't even got a tuxedo, fam. What are you talking about? I wore my own New Year wedding. <laughs> what are you talking about? You didn't wear a bow tie and a tuxedo shirt. Yeah, I wore a, a long tie. Wearing a bow tie is whack now. Mm-hmm. Wore no bow tie. Bow ties are for money. Pretty sure. Uh, Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> pretty sure uh, Brad Pitt wore one the other day to what you call it? Brad Pitt's at the Golden Globes. The bow tie is probably a thousand dollars just for the bow tie. Bro, what does it matter what it costs? Uh, New Year's was fine. Don't go anywhere. We stayed at the house. Oh, Rocio, my wife. Oh my God, love her so much. Gave me a New Year's card. Which oh, you got a gift for New Year's too? I I didn't know this was happening. <clears throat> surprise gift to Seattle. Going to Seattle next month, fam. Bro, look at you, little rich. She was like, let's stay home and watch. Sleep to Seattle. I'm like, sleep to Seattle. I'm like, I haven't seen Sleep to Seattle in about, no joke, maybe 20 years. And she was like, oh, I've never seen this watch it. I'm like, all right. So we watching it. And she was like, oh, okay, at midnight, open up your card, open the card. You know, a bunch of whole nice stuff. How I'm just the greatest husband person of all time. Dang, you know this. She forgot about the shoes already. And <laughs> so trash. <laughs> you a trash person. <laughs> because she might listen to this and be like, wait a minute. <laughs> If she did that I know the listeners didn't forget <laughs> And We talked about it yesterday Which I would bring up I might have to do If I do an episode of The House I might have to let her come on And me and her talk about it That would be tight Yeah um, well, You should have did that already Um, Because she was like Planning for this year's budget And she was like Okay we're gonna talk about Your sneaker stuff How we gonna budget that in I'm like Oh but I really don't care Actually we'll talk about it um, surprise we're to Seattle So we're going to Seattle next month So that'd be lit Anybody who lives in Seattle That listens to this podcast I will not be doing a podcast there So do not bother me <laughs> I'm not meeting up You know somebody hit me up Yo fam Meet me at the, the public fish market Nope Like this is me and the wife You Actually, gotta go to uh, You wanna come through You come through You gotta go to the cheese place Hannah system stuff And I've been I ain't been to Seattle In probably about 20 years So I love Seattle. So Hannah sent a bunch of places to go to. She sent like a burger joint. Yes, you can go to the NFC Championship game. <laughs> I <wish. laughs> man, I tickets wish. in Seattle would be so expensive, man. Shut up. But we might be going to Seattle next year if the Cowboys go there. So Well, it's a regular season game. Yeah. It them tickets are some of the most expensive tickets in the world. Uh they might be one of the highest, if not the highest in the NFL. Uh, and that's a one hundred percent fact. It's worth it though. I want to experience that. Know that loud stadium? So, feel good. Any New Year's resolutions, goals, anything? No. Nothing? For what? Anything. You got to have something you want to accomplish or do. Yeah, win the lottery. Man, you so whack. You should have been, your resolution should have been be a better person. Well, it should have been. I already am a better person. Hey, how about less angry? I don't need a new year for that. Okay. How about less angry? I'm going to win the lottery and the lottery. <laughs> Dang, I'm telling Hannah. You should have <laughs> been, you should, you should, you should work on not being so angry. You should do that. No? You know what the newest thing I'm getting angry at? And Hannah gets upset. Got a new video game on my phone. Golf. We'll get upset. I thought you were going to say a new video game on PlayStation <laughs> playing. I'm like, yo, you start playing PlayStation. I'm playing mine. <laughs> I'm going to need you to find me on the friends thing. So I don't, nah, but see, <laughs> I don't get upset about stuff like that because I just play the computer. And it would be like Drake. What's that, Drake? 
What? <laughs> What's that Drake? Drake, the Uncharted. Oh, I'm not gonna get mad at rapper. that. Nah, man. You got a game too? I mean, I don't. I would play like soccer or something, but I wouldn't go online and like have like a 13 year old laugh at me. No, that's not happening. Uh, I'm too old for that. Mad at video games. I feel like I don't think I could physically do it anymore. Get mad at them. Like, oh, I've thrown my phone a couple times. Uh, over this golf thing? Like not. First of all, you shouldn't play golf. Like, like not that. thrown it, but like. <sighs> that's why I play word games on the phone because. Games like that, I feel like it's predetermined what I'm going to do already. Whether, especially Some golf of it games. might be. That's why I get angry. Which, which golf game do you play? Is it the EA Kings? Nah, I don't okay. know. It was free. What's this called? Because they're all free. Until you golf do. King. That's the EA one. Where, like You get like sticky things and all that. I don't, I don't think it's EA. Oh, there's an EA one I've been playing for a long time. And it's a golf one. And like I could get to a certain point. Can't get no, I can't get no further. Uh, like Can't do it. And you get like special things. Like, you got to like... <laughs> You gotta <coughs> land and like. Oh, I've seen that before. That was oh, that's trash. That was tight though. That was fire. I've tried the mini golf ones too. The, the mini golf ones are always. This one, you, you only play like one hole and you play it against somebody. Uh, presumably it's a person, but I guess it could be a computer. I don't know. But, um, you know, there's like certain like you could end up playing somebody that has way better clubs than you, and it's just like, what's the point? I don't get it. I bet you could buy buy better ones though. You can, but I'm not spending no money on no free games. So I'm against it. That's crazy. The most I spend is ten dollars in tax. I thought about it today too. I'm like, I gotta get to the next level. Wait, you you, you actually pay for something on no, there? No, I thought about it. I have. I refuse. Nah, there's there's certain games <clears throat> I'll pay for the full version of it, no ads and stuff, because I play it regularly. Like. No, it's not that. I wanted to buy the thing where you get like a thousand tokens. Yeah, you get like <laughs> add-ons so you can what? cop. Huh? I just need a better driver. That's it. I can't keep up with them cats that be hitting it like four hundred yards. Huh? But the it's game garbage. Is free. It's no way. It is. No, it's not, Bruh, Everybody you run up against got better clubs than me. And I'm angry. You know? I'm one of the greatest spellers that you've ever met. You know? All right, and I be playing in this tournament that happens every once in a while in this one game. I, I have never finished greater than 10th place. Uh, all right, 10th place. I look at some of the stuff, the people that are ahead of me, there's no way I could ever catch up to them. I'll have like 500 stars. They got like 2,200, 2, 2,000. I'm like, okay, there's no way they could have spelled, finished that many spelling levels. That's still, I'm like, you know what? It's predetermined that I can't beat whoever this is. I was at Peter Piper this past weekend and got the high score on like three games. You know? <laughs> I ain't never got the high score on any arcade machine or nothing in my entire life. And it just happened Last Sunday, uh, shout out to myself at Peter Piper. <laughs> yeah, shout out to yourself. I do. I don't have any resolutions or personal goals or anything like that, but I do want to get better at the things that I'm good at now, like that I do now. That's that's a, a realistic thing. Like, come up with a goal. Like, I want to read more books or eat healthier and stuff like that. I want to do that, but I want to get better at the things that I do. Now. <coughs> Me and Rocio went to her like real estate party thing, and like we're at this real estate table. Real estate people there. Rosie was clearly like above and beyond them at the table, and well, you talking about selling? Them, yeah, like you know her numbers and all Dang, this stuff. Y'all are lit. But how my wife is with like helping others and wanting to be helped. Like I'm my wife. Rocio, she's starting to rub off on me. Like, I'm trying to be more positive and, like, no, helping. Not. Yes, I am. No, what not. are you talking about? Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I'm about to slap you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> See, there you go. I'm trying to be and help. It doesn't even take that much to convince you otherwise. I'm trying to, like, be that better person because I think it'd be better for the nah, podcast. you're still a mean I person. I do. No, that's fine. But I'm talking about, like, being better things I do, like, get more sleep. There's a lot of things I don't like to do because I don't feel like <laughs> it because I'm asleep. Get more you sleep. You said, no, you said that I don't ever go nowhere, which is true. It's not because I don't want to or I can't. I just don't feel like it. Like, I just don't feel like it. If I started taking, like, the podcast tonight, I'm going to go home iTunes, all that, do a little video editing, I'm done. I'm not going to be up till midnight anymore doing that and stuff like that. Like, because it's just, I'm not a better father. I'm not a good father if I'm in a bad mood. I'm not a good husband for a bad mood. Dang. You should give it a shot. You don't got to make a resolution. I'm saying, you don't got to do a resolution. Just like, you know what? Let me do something that will make me better throughout the year. Ain't got to be something like that. Like, oh, so like I said, my wife, Christmas, I just grew up with the high school with Stephanie Wimbish. I mean, I've known her in high school a long time. Found me on social media and stuff like that. She makes her own vegan, like, skincare products and stuff like that. So I bought Rocio some. But, like, she went to high school with me. And, like, I don't run into a lot of people, which I'm sure, I don't know about you. I don't 
run into a lot of people that went to high school, where I went to high school at South, who's actually doing something, got a great family, she got beautiful kids, she got a husband, home, she's a, you know, has a great profession, but she does this on the side. So I bought some of her products for my wife, and I tried them too. Man, stuff is phenomenal. I'm gonna put her stuff on the screen. Like, follow her, order some stuff, she ships in the US. Super good person, I told my wife, like, I, I like that I can support her because she's somebody I went to school with and a nice person and all that, got a beautiful family and all that. So I'm gonna put her, her brand is, uh, I think it's Jaden Alexander is the name of it, but she's somebody that like, I'm glad that like, you know, cause we're, we're homies, like we're super cool and she's a good person. And I told my wife like, man, I just think it's dope. Somebody I run into from high school that's actually doing something. There's so many trash people I went to high school with that I ain't doing nothing in dead jail or like still causing trouble in the streets. So I'm like, mean, huh? so uh, that's not me. That's facts. But you know, if they got more sleep, they wouldn't be out there in the streets causing trouble. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they got but, more sleep. Anyway, so I, I do want to do stuff like that. I want to do better. I feel like the podcast be better. Fam, I'm telling you, the new hats that are coming. Fam, the podcast about to be over when that new hit, so it don't matter. No <laughs> when the podcast, you put your LeBron's on. I want a LeBron's award. <laughs> yes, stuff, bro. bro. If you don't wear LeBron's award, you tripping. If you still try to wear Joe Lowe's award, I don't have you. Ask, <laughs> <laughs> you ain't you ain't winning. I ain't got no LeBron's. And no disrespect to the soldier, everybody. Like we appreciate our soldiers and love our soldiers and all that stuff. But you know, this is a sneaker podcast. We just being entertaining. But shout out to Stephanie and her products and all that stuff. You know, and shout out to my beautiful wife. You know, she's a great person and she's helping me get better at stuff I do because she knows how good I am and she can see everything that's in me and wants to be better so you you need to let Hannah Rolf on, Hannah Rolf on you that's a fact man. man Hannah is one of the best people I know like let me tell you you'd yeah, be very beneficial you're not wrong about that you would love you would love going to work a lot more too alright man I'm telling you you would it's okay yeah. to be a better person better chill out don't worry dude I got you George I'll help you <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna help you though. I'm gonna help you yeah, okay. let's be better together let's be better together alright we're gonna help each other out <laughs> I'm, I, I, oh, yeah, I got to buy you lunch, too, since ASU is trash. ASU, super trash. I, I told you. Grip. It was at one point I was like, oh, let's go. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's Yeah, good. all right. I had to watch on my phone. I was watching my phone. I was like, oh, well, well that's it. <laughs> it's like, what do we score? 46? <laughs> they lost by 28. That's all I know. Suck. They were down by a lot. That was a moment where we was doing a little good. I was like, okay. I was like, all right. I wish Andrew was here. I, who else? Who else? Big ASU people. I wish y'all all were here. I was all rubbing your. Where did face. Rico go? He went to Belmont. What school he go to? He went Rice. To Bowling Green. Oh yeah, Bowling Green. Yeah. Damn, Rico go to Bowling Green. It's still funny. <laughs> I don't even know why. Man. I respect it, but it's still it's random. You and Rico might hate each other more than y'all might argue more than me and you argue. <laughs> y'all, that's why I said y'all need to start a sports podcast. Uh. You're a hater, no? You two start a, start a sports podcast and I produce it. That joint be lit. Uh. Imagine you getting money from go two directions. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we can't even get them. Well, no, no comment. Anyways. Uh, Travis Scott dunks are trash. Are you okay, you should stop it. Okay, they suck. Look at that button. <laughs> Y'all are ridiculous. Look at that uh, buttons. Let somebody put that on there. What is that? Buttons. Y'all are tripping on. I have no idea why certain things are fighting. Look at them, but this look at them is French fries. Look. <laughs> that, look <good. laughs> that look nasty, dude. Jack in the box curly fries look glow, gross. But when you get one in a box of regular fries, oh my gosh. Um. Pickups. Any pickups over the break? Any pickups? Um, red Air Max 97 pack with the... That was for you? Gold swoosh. Who else would it be for? Oh, I thought that was... I literally sent you a picture of it. You did, but I thought that was like... It no. Was small. Uh, on foot picture to put on the... the what's it called? Instagram. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. You sent me a picture of the pin. Says you got one. That was it. You never sent me a picture of nothing. Yes, I did. I sent it to you the next day. Then why didn't you tell me to post it? Or later that day. Because I don't say that. Man, you, you know, tried. Post it, post it. Did you send it to me personally? No, it wasn't a thrill. It was simple. Well, guess that's it. What else? <laughs> I guess that's it. I'm about to find it and post it now. Um. Oh, that's you? <laughs> Who do you think that was? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> You're an actual fool. Who else would it be? It's the same. <laughs> It's an actual sneak this hat in the picture. <laughs> I saw that bitch. I was like, yo, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> it's only me, you, and Simple that threw it. I saw that picture and said, who is I that? slap you. I thought you was wearing the Chicago joints. The, the next Chicago day. Chicago Lowe's. That's the next day. Then you sent two pictures? Let's go. I didn't send it. Simple sent that one. Oh. Huh? What else you got? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it. I mean, I copped them like Animal 3s, but those are going back. You don't like them? 
I didn't even open the box yet. I don't want them trash. <laughs> what? Okay, originally, when we first talked to J Tips, shout out to J Tips, we were talking about yes, it. Yes, before I knew it was horse hair, and it was trash. What did I, you think it was? I've been leather? saying that. Yes, or, or suede. Every single shoe with animal print is, is hair. What are you talking about? It's an animal shoe. Trash. Oh, my God. Did you look at them? Nope. Them joints fire. Too expensive and trash. Too expensive? What are they, 220 Something like that. Bro, them joints. Oh, yeah, actually, they are. I ain't, I ain't keeping them. Fan, them joints 220 and they want 250 for gold, black Jordan 5s. If they don't stop, they need to stop with that. Uh, that's all you got? I thought you had sent me something else. Um, Let's see. I could have sworn you sent me like something else. You didn't get you got Kobe Chaos too, right? No. I thought you paid for them. I clicked it on sneakers, but it didn't. Something happened. It didn't go through. I didn't wake up for it. Heated. I didn't wake up, man. We were at work. I wasn't. <laughs> you were. So you're a hater. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, at work was it a Saturday? No. Oh, I don't even you remember. freakazoid! No wonder when I woke up at one. Oh, I got a pair of. Um, What's that 350 you like with the zebra? I got a pair of those. I don't know if I said that last show or not. Dang, like for yourself? Nah, man, that joint is like a size six, five and a half or six. Yeah, that's a bro. that's a, a thought a thought resale size. You need to start keeping some zebras for yourself. All right. Every time I see somebody wear um, wave runners, I get upset. But I can't pay three twenty for a shoe. I mean, you can. I mean, you probably nah, don't want to. But can't you can. do it. Can't do it. B. Um. Oh, I got a. Uh, when was the last time we did a show? It's been a long time. I think I already said these. The last, they just took forever to get the in. The last time we did a show, I think Dion Point was on. All right. And I got um, off white dunk greens, but I think I said that. No, you didn't. Uh, well, you when said Andy was you here, got or when uh, Blanc, Andy, and Ricardo were here. And you wore them? Andrew. Nah, but the leather is way better than I was expecting. They look pretty, they look pretty good in all the pictures. Nah, it looks shiny and trash. So I it's like actual like butter leather. They look good on people. Like I've seen a lot of on foot pics. They look good. Like they're not bad, but them joints ain't like undeniable. Like r- r- the crazy fire. The UNLV one is. Are you keeping the green one? Nah. You're not going to get the red one. It's How much? selling for the same price. Oh, well, then go to Legend and Trade It. Mm, or go to AZ Threads or somewhere. Nah, I'm getting a Travis Scott low or I'm selling it, one or the other. So you wouldn't trade it for the UNLV one? Nope. So then, I mean, I want it, but I'm, I don't care enough. I want Travis Scott low instead. What they selling for? And I'm putting pink laces in, B. What they selling for? Well, I think it's around 500 for a 12. Oh, they're selling for 500 What? Them dunks off whites, yeah. Dang it, I thought they were like three twenty. Man, slap yourself. You take them out the sneaker budget. I'm working with three thousand. All right, I think I can go, <laughs> I right. can go up to four thousand, but I'm working with. Oh, well, here, 000. let me help you. I'm making at Raynards right now, fifteen percent off site wide. Yes, okay, fifteen <laughs> percent off. Stores gotta be ashamed of themselves doing fifty percent off. They online, should be, but they know that Nike is about to start canceling deals. Probably that's like Apple. Apple, like you get that credit card and buy Apple products, you get six percent off Apple products. Six percent off Apple products. What that Apple credit card? Yeah, if you use the Apple credit card when you buy Apple products, you get six percent off. They don't slap themselves to slice them up like an apple. Six percent off like a MacBook or something? Yeah, six percent, oh. not sixty. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'm joking. If they had six percent off, I have two. Oh, one on okay. each feet. Um, <laughs> yes. Um, what did I buy? I bought so about chaos from feature, which I never got nothing. Called them. Captain you should like, be angry about that because them I'm joints are like extremely this. Extremely angry now. Them joints are like this because when they dropped on sneakers, I had woke up too late and I looked. They were still on. They there. were sitting. They were sitting there. So I was like, oh, I already got my pair for feature, so I didn't even move. And in my mind, I, and usually I always buy off Nike because I could return it, but I just. Didn't and I thought, oh, cool. They sat, man. I could get them joints maybe a little cheaper down the road. So I was hoping Feature didn't send them. I ain't got hurt a single word from Feature. I called them cats up. They was like, oh, well, it's a separate place that does our shipping, yada yada yada. And they were like, let me let me take a look. I was just like, oh, it got canceled for some reason. And I was like, man. And I was like, all right, well, that's fine. Man, I looked on Goat. Them joints was like two forty five for a nine and a half. I'm like, well, I guess that's it. I was like. And that's that. Like, not getting those. If you get them from an arts, fifteen percent off. Yeah. Okay, they're not on there anymore. <laughs> one. They might not even have released them. Renarts, even... Renarts didn't even send me Christmas LeBron sevens, and I, I, I had got them off of there. What do you mean? Pay for them and everything. They never sent them. So I looked at my account and never took it. It just that was it. I won a raffle, so they. Oh, raffle. but you didn't take the money. No. Oh. And then it said, but it said like, oh, congrats, you. 
you did it or whatever it says. So I was like, oh, I did it. And that was it. I did it. <laughs> I did it. Yes. Um, you did a somersault. <laughs> yeah. You skated. <laughs> you had to do a left-handed layup to win. <laughs> um, <coughs> oh, shite. Um, what else? Oh, grab these uh, Converse joints from uh, Need Supply. Uh, camo joints. I don't even know what that model's called. They're like Chuck Taylors, but it ain't Chuck Taylors. Like old school star golf wing, one of them cats. Oh yeah, you tripping? Um, uh, but I got them joints for like thirty dollars. So I was like, oh, oh thank oh, God. Right. The percentage was ridiculous off on there, and that was. I, but I ordered those Black Friday. I just got them yesterday. So <laughs> them joints have been like stuck in customs or something. And All then right. I got some. Uh, this what I was talking about. Yeah. What about? Oh, the person. No, when I said the uh, matchy matchy, and you were oh. like, "No, no, nah, that's not matchy matchy, Bruh. That's not matchy matchy, bro. Just because something matches something doesn't make it matchy matchy. That's not matchy matchy. What are you talking about? What the, bro? What are you talking about? Just because the shirt the same color as the shoes doesn't make it matchy yes, matchy. Yes, it does. No, 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 no. Yes, it does. No. And that and that color is in the shirt. That's over it too. I don't know about all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Wait till I tell them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, There's only two colors in the whole outfit besides pants. All right. That fit is fire, too. Uh, all right, man. What? I'm going to just let you live. That's a fire fit. Uh, I'm not going to say who it is. I'm that's gonna a fire fit. I'm going to let you live. All right. You should let them know that. Why didn't you say that? That's the homie. He the homie. <laughs> he the super homie. Uh, oh, and like I said, new hats, George. I'm not even going to tell you what the new hats are. All right. George, I'm telling you. And I don't want to oversell it because I put so much thought into this hat. I finally approved it on Monday because it got like a bunch of things happened. George. Man, I don't got time for these no, antics. No, 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 no. Let me tell you something. First of all, I ordered more than last time. So I got more this time. One. Two. The hat and the concept and the thought behind it is so much fire. All right? You ask Rocio. I'm not even telling you. And I, I'm giving you yours exactly how I'm going to give it to people that buy them. Uh, that's a fact, though, because I want you to see how special it is. Yeah. That's how special this hat is. Uh. And I'm, I guarantee you. I get, no, no. I guarantee you. When you open the hat and get the box, I guarantee you open it and you're going to be like, oh, that's fire. I'm not even going to lie to you. Same S. Still an S in that. Same concept. Just an S and a hat. But everything, the concept, everything, everything. All right. All right. All right. And you're going to super appreciate it. Trust me. You're going to be like, fam, this is fire. Dude. All right. All right. Yeah. You got to tell me something. If it's fire, you got to say, okay, this joint is fire. Dude. You got to say it. <laughs> I'm not going to say it like that, but I'll say it. All right. Well, you'll say it. Um, I got some Griffies off of eBay. I bought a few pair of Griffies. Suck. <laughs> Stop it. All right. <laughs> I got... And I already world, had them. World about to end. Now you out here copping Griffies, fam. I got to go back. Uh, you out here trying to buy shoes that make you lighter. No. All right. I need stuff that's going to be ready. War ready. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, and like I said, no disrespect to <laughs> like, Cash, boy, they get sensitive when you say stuff right now. Man, like I showed you earlier, Everybody the same people doing that. memes three that, uh, The same people doing memes that, three uh, days ago is now talking about, let's get serious. Not that the bombs are dropping. Because... I don't. View, if you were doing memes three days ago, don't be trying to lecture anybody. I don't view anybody who makes a joke or a meme about something not serious about something. Like, stop it. Like, don't do that. Like, <coughs> like don't do that. Like, stop. Um, what else? Griffies, the Converse. I didn't get chaos because they tripped on that. My LeBron Christmas didn't come. I didn't get the last two things. Oh, winterized Jordan fours. Winterized Jordan fours are a must. Cop They're sold out sneaker, everywhere. Period. They got my uh, Scott Demall. Um Oh yeah, for like for I ain't paying retail though. <laughs> I mean, okay. what you talking about? A house of hoops? Uh, champs. Them joints are fire. Oh, can't use Foot Locker code there. And I'm giving and I'm giving and we're doing the sneak this sneaker award winners today. As well. actually, they might be on sneakers, but I ain't paying full price. I'm gonna check right now. I don't think they're on sneakers anymore because I tried to get a Kobe Pro Pro was sold out in your size. I just barely got that alert right now. From where? From Sneakers app. Yeah, Sneakers app better shut up. That's what I said. Didn't get them. <laughs> you ain't been on the app since then, then. Yeah, I have. I went, I went on the app when they loaded uh, these. You they loaded all it. the 90s. Oh, we're going to talk about that, too. What comes out this week? We can Who do is this? Right now. What comes out this week? Man, hold on a second. I'm trying to look at this. Who is this nerd? Who is this? Uh, oh, Nike app. Uh, he ugly. Willie Beeman? <laughs> all right. I don't know who that is. He ugly, too. Oh, it must be a random person. 
<laughs> I'm going to tell everybody this. John B. and not the singer. Uh, you ugly, no? I'm telling everybody this right now who's listening to listens. the podcast. Okay, whoever listens to the Sneak Diss Nigger podcast, you want to send me your email address right now and request an invoice for the hat. That's how I'm going to put it right now. Uh, that's how fire. You got to chill out. All right. All right. All right, you gonna be asking for doubles? Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna say I only got one for you, B. You gonna have people gassed and then they gonna get it and be like, mm, "What is this?" No, nope. all right, all right, George. Yo, George Fire, what come out this week? Um, uh, let's see here. Have them gas. They get gas over our hats. <laughs> they need to move. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they at me. They at me on social media. Fire the the ninety. Pack is coming out. All the different color Air Max 90s. Grapes, Volts, Turquoise, Royal. I think I want Turquoise. I don't know why I say that. Turquoise of fire. <clears throat> I don't know why I say that, but I think I want Turquoise. I mean, I'm definitely copping next time infrared regulars drop. I'm definitely copping infrared regulars. What? We're going to talk. You know what? Okay. I still have Go. a pair at the house, but they're at least about 20 years old. They're thrash. Them is better. Man. Go, go through the list so we can talk about this. Um, Concepts Kyrie 6 is coming out on Nike. Concepts already did their drop, obviously, but now it's coming out on Nike's website. Um, the kids, GS1 and the men's one, the men's one. I don't, I don't know if I like what they did with that. The what? Kyrie 6 Concepts collab. Oh, I don't like that either. It's coming out on because Nike. Because the, the kids one is the better out of the two. I don't think I think they did a terrible job with both of them. I think I thought the, the purple one and purple and brown or whatever on the Kyrie Five was fire because I actually got that one. I didn't get my size, but I, I was it was a thought reset. I didn't talk to Dion again because what's up with all this Egyptian stuff? No? Like maybe Kyrie is Egyptian. I don't know. Man, um, blazer pack is coming out with two different blazers that look like they kind of like been. I don't know. They got that unstitched. Uh, swoosh oh, or whatever yeah, fire. You want those? They're not bad You know I don't wear blazers So You wear those? I might wear blazer lows But I ain't wearing those uh, Jordan Now I got on Sock Jig Back today For that Dumbass thing He was talking about That stock company Or whatever I guess he said It was an inside joke But I'm about to slap him But that joke He made about Uh the Air Jordan 13 retros was funny. He said instead of, instead of calling them the reverse, he got games. They should call them the he don't got game. <laughs> he was like, not every not every tweet's gonna get five likes, people. <laughs> now that was funny. That's a dad joke. It is. He's a dad, so you get away with it. Uh, Yeshaya Yeezy. I think that's an international only. I have no idea what that is. I mean, it looks like all the other ones. Uh yes the. The double white, not triple white, <laughs> single whites. Shout out to Rick. Rick sent the picture of like all these ones, the exact same shade, just like different shades, it's like a color <laughs> wheel. I'm like, fam. I'm assuming they're coming. I think that one's coming out international only. I don't know about it anymore. Cause stuff is happening over there. Oh yeah, you got. He's been naming a lot of stuff after like Israel stuff and like holy sites you and stuff. Be careful. Clot Air Force One rose gold. I guess it's supposed to be just like the blue one That's and the fine. black one. I mean, you know, I feel about Air Force One. Oh, I'm going to buy Kaepernick's too. I'm going to buy from Undefeated. Uh, I don't know what that means. Kaepernick Air Force Ones. Oh, okay. Um, Spec fine nail on you. Pause. <laughs> this says that Pharrell 4D mids are coming out, but I thought they already came out. No, they didn't come out yet. Them green and purple ones. Yeah, yeah them joints weird. And then that's the, that's that's so it trash. for this week. What's what's the uh, who's that QT right now? Somebody's in oh, yeah, 4D. It. That's how whack they are. So cats want to make QT. Yes, the employee. Well, I see the employee at QT coming. To somebody back asking. Hair. Somebody asking what that uh, Cheryl Swoops OG Jordan was. Ah, if that's that Lucas, I want to slap him. First of all, that's not Cheryl Swoops. Yes, it is. I think it's Cynthia Coopers. This. Cheryl Swoops. I want to say it's Cheryl Swoops, but I feel like those were Tina Thompson. No, no, Bruh, no. You better stop making stuff up. Cheryl Swoops had Nike. She had like her own Swoops line, a one, two, three, and four. I don't think those were Swoops. I don't Fam. think she's ever on drum brand. Fam. No, no, no. I'm serious. I need you to chill out. No, I'm serious. Bruh. Like, look it up. First of all, you know I know my sneakers no, and don't. my OG sneakers. No, so don't, don't even do that. No, you don't. I don't know the sneakers. I don't oh. know OG sneakers. No, you don't. All right. I got a fart. But yeah, somebody asking them Air Lucas. That Air had killed me, though. I don't even know why. The what? The Air him said Air Lucas. <laughs> that put me on the ground. And one thing he said, yo, the new Lucas. Calling them Air Lucas is funny. <laughs> it's like when I told you, like a homeless person, like you could tell they're a brand new homeless person when they still know what you're uh, right. like, I remember I went to the bank 
And this dude came up to me, and he was homeless, but he looked like he was brand new homeless. He goes, fam, you got the Air Michael Jordans on. I said, oh, yeah, he, he's brand new homeless. He still know what these are. <laughs> Calling them joints Air Lucas is funny, though. <laughs> Luca gets no air, as far as I know. I don't know. He had triple-double with 38 last night against the Bulls. You will not speak. Matter of fact, we might as well talk about that now. You could talk. You could bring it up, and I'm going to laugh in your face. We'll bring it up later. <laughs> bring it up right now, fam. No, nah, we'll bring it up closer to sports. Bring it up right now, fam. No, nah, because first of all, I think you went like nine for like 31, I think, on that stat line possibly. But no, nah, he didn't. Fine. Uh, he didn't. I fam. think you went nine for 30 something. I looked it up last yesterday. It was like 14 for 26, 38 points. Oh, okay. Then it must have been another game. He had a triple-double. He went like nine for I mean, like, I'm sure he's had those this year. Mm-hmm. He his stats are low key. People already James know Winston. what I'ma say. They low key James Winston. Oh uh, <laughs> yes, he leading the league in PER. All right, or or second. He leading the league in PER and leading the league in and whatever the worst. <laughs> no, Russell Westbrook is Russell Westbrook. He, Russell Westbrook. He has the worst jump shot percentage in the league. Russell Westbrook is. And you know who look. else is in the top five worst jump shot percentage? And I was shocked. Anthony Davis. I don't even what? know how that's possible. That might be, he must don't take enough. Take enough jump shots. Like, I don't now, understand that. Now you're making stuff up, man. Um, oh, I was going to say about the prices, too. When you sent, was it you or Simple that sent the prices of Chaos's when they first came out in 09? Me. And China Moons when they came out? No joke. Me. It low key has me super uninterested. In sneakers, just those two prices. No, you just got done talking with your wife about no, budget no, no, no. For next year. Yeah, and my wife said, and she said, "Okay, we could talk about the sneakers thing. Can we like wait till like end of January?" I said, "You know, what? I really don't even care right now. You know, I don't care right now. It makes no sense for the price hike to be that dramatic. And I get it because it happens all the time. But on a Nike basketball, who is that shoe, in the background? She's wearing them. That's not uh, Cheryl Swoops on a Nike basketball. That is Cheryl Swoops in the background. I think." First of all, Cynthia you Cooper think, is the one in the you front. No, Cynthia Cooper is the one in the front. Thank I'm pretty you. sure that's Swoops in the and back. She is wearing Coop's shoes on. That could be Swoops. I'm not. It could be. But honestly, it really don't look like Cheryl Swoops. Huh? It doesn't. But I'm. A, but I'm right. It kind of look like. Kind of like me a little bit. All right. Um. <laughs> yeah. See, Swoops had her own shoe. Look at the Swoops. That was after. That was after the Jordan ones. Man, if, I don't. Man, I'm not I'm saying you're wrong. You, I don't remember that. I remember the shoes. Man, this this wasn't even her shoe. What are you talking about? The one she's wearing now? Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. I can show you the other ones because I just looked it up. No, no, no. This was a team shoe. Okay, no. That was hers. That was a one, two, three, no. and a four in swoops. Yes, it was. What are you talking about? <clears throat> that was a team shoe. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it turned into a sh- team shoe, I think. No. I need to figure that out. <clears throat> um, what was you talking about? Oh, yeah. Those prices is... It makes you not want... There's no reason why Nike basketball sneakers, considering how big of a drop-off they were as far as anybody wanting to copy stuff there's no reason why they should be what was it a 43% hype this is percent? the swoops 2 okay yes. thank you Let's keep going 4 is the one with the claw on the keep side keep going keep going I like you said I had a real heartburn upon paying that one it was like 191 or something after tax and whatever else for that uh that Kobe Bryant Jordan, that Kobe 5 this is the one okay cool you're right then the four is the one the claw on side. Find the three first. With the three, I think, is the one she's wearing in that picture, I nah, think. B. You might be right. But I'm not sure. I can't remember if that Jordan woman's shoe was a swoops. I don't know if it was anybody's shoe. Oh, yeah. This one. This one's different. Let me see. This is it. This is the... I thought this was the one that was the men's one. That's the same one. No, you thought it was the one that had the removable straps. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Those it's not, not the same shoe. But it, but it looks similar. like it. It's similar. Um, oh, that one doesn't come off. I can't pay those prices. Not for a Nike basketball <coughs> anymore. Nike basketball shoes should be close to the same price. And I get inflation and all that. Thank you, everybody who wants to say that. Yo, inflation. I get it. We all went to college, all right, on this podcast. Stop it. Okay. But paying 180 for a Kobe 5, close to 195, 190, 191 after tax and shipping and all that stuff is absolutely crazy. If anybody is paying 250, 280 for a Kobe 5 or a LeBron China Moon boot, you're out of your mind. I thought those LeBrons were 200 when they first released. Them drugs were only, they were 180. Stop it. I can't. I can't do it. Huh? It's too big of a price. They're going to start pricing us out. Huh? At some point, <laughs> now they are, because I've been looking for more like retail cheap stuff 
<clears throat> than like more than usual. Me and you always look for like stuff that's like reasonable price. Though. I'm gonna start copping GRs. That's one hundred percent fact for cheap. Huh? I can't be special anymore. That's a fact. Are you listening to me? No. <laughs> <laughs> trying to find this shoe. I'm angry. Yeah, because I'm right. No, you ain't. It's all right to be like, oh, you know, you're right. Why would I say that if I can't find it? All right. Um, but yeah, they're tripping. Air Max 90s real quick. You know what? We'll talk about Air Max 90s. I don't know. I don't even know why you want Air Max 90s. Like, you don't even... You, I will say... What are you talking oh, about? I will tell you this, though. You buying the Viotex, wearing them. Oh, okay, they're fire. Air Max 90s... Okay, 97s and Air Max 1s have surpassed Air Max 90. That's... It's 100% fact. Nike has beat everybody over the face so much with 97s and Air Max 1s that when you look at an Air Max 90 now, you're like, yo, I think I need them. <coughs> I'm looking at these Air Max 90s. I've never been an OG model Air Max 90 fan. We're doing top tier Air Max 90s today at the end of the podcast as well. I have never been an Air Max 90s fan. I've had them. All of them. Infrareds, blue. Oh, no, you tripping. Them. I've had them all. I've never been a fan of the shoe. The shoe itself is way too bulky. Oh, no, you And tripping, there are man. so many better versions, which I know in your top 10 list, you better have the better versions. Your better version is going to be one and two, most likely. One, two, three, maybe, of an Air Max 90. You're tripping, fam. Air Max 90 used to be everyone's number one uh Air Max, number one Air Max ever. It's not even, it's like number three now. It, Air Max 1, by far, 97s, n- then Air Max 90, then maybe 95s. Mm, it is. Nah. Yes, it is. These are fire, too. I Let didn't even see. know these are coming out. Pink. That's for women's, though. I understand that. I'm just saying, that's fire. What's your size in women's? <laughs> uh, all right. 13, something? Yes, 13 and a half. We got to talk about this, because I need to know if you're buying or not. No, those are feminine. All right. Let me join You're not getting air, another Air Jordan 1 low OG for, like, who knows how long. So you better like it while you can. So you like, though, just because it's the Air Jordan mm-hmm. 1 OG. I don't. I never said I liked them it. Them joints got <laughs> flowers on it, and they pink. I don't and care, though. I don't even know. We can't even get them. They're overseas only. Man, what are you talking about? You just... <laughs> You literally just sent a picture of Jay in in China. He, he literally can get them right now. He can't ship them overseas. Matter of fact, you know where the full size. Nike si- banned people from shipping overseas. Uh, <laughs> all right, yes. That would be crazy. Hey, you know where, matter of fact, those Jordan that are those Air Max ones that look like um, original Hirachis are in a full size run right now? Nike Philippines website. <laughs> Don't ask me how there? I knew that. What found are you it. doing on there? I searched by the. Uh, the style code and it pulled that up. They had a full size run. Are they not here? Are they not out yet? <coughs> Apparently, it's not ever coming here. You, oh, <coughs> bro, them joints are over retail on StockX, like seventy five dollars over retail. Isn't it a pack or is it like individual? No, individual shoe. Oh, it's on Nike's website, sitting every size in the Philippines. Nobody wants Air Max nineties. So. Period. I don't know if that's true. No, it's true. Everybody's going to want Air Max 90s because they true. have OD'd on Air Max 1s and Air Max 97s. 100% fact. Man. Air Max 90s are, it's like, oh, man, I ain't seen them in nah, so long. Bio, I got a cop. Biotech should have sold out if that was the case. Uh, no. Because people are going to buy still, the, people are going to buy these OG ones that are coming out. Of course they are because they feel like, yo. No, because it's back. OG. All right. Some people claim that it's like the year of the Air Max 90 somehow, which whatever you decided to do top air max 90s well so. andy has suggested it which i don't know if we've ever done it probably i, I think we've done it top air maxes air max one maybe <sighs> no nah, you tripping we probably did air max 90s we've done so bro what is the name of this shoe we're about to come up on 200 episodes <laughs> that's your fault <laughs> <laughs> i told you they made sure swoops but, um, Oh, you got to do a type of show soon. Jordan we Brand. not, listen, Find we out. not getting a 200. Though. Once that new kid, no, it's just a wrap. Man. I think you genuinely shook. Ugh. I'm not shook. I just, uh, I, I know what's shook. happening, B. I think AZ, like you said, be all right. <laughs> because. That's messed up. They blow up AZ. It ain't going to do nothing to the country. It'd be like, well, that's that's trash. Like, we're going to buy real what estate. What is this? They making a different color of Travis Scott? The heck is that? It's on StockX. What's it called? Bean? Oh, maybe I can't say that. You can say it. Hey, look. <laughs> <laughs> StockX, you listening? Feel free. Like you could, go, bro, we done with, with that right now. Until them cats renew contract and all that stuff, I know it's shite. Um, what are we talking about? Oh, yeah, my nice trash. 
I'm gonna get one. Nah, you smoking? I'm gonna get one, but I'm getting this. Saying as trash as is wild. Air Max 90s are trash. No. And I bet if you did, you make a top ten list. Of course. Okay, I bet when you looked at it, you're like, God, these suck. No, I would have done that already when I was making the list. I was like, these are all fire. You tried to convince me not to do the list because you said they're trash. And unprecedented in sneak disc history. Today, later, I will tell people what it's gonna be. Yeah, right. <laughs> You'll forget. Oh, and I don't know if you saw the new colorway of uh, Yeezy. What's the alien number? Oh, the black one? 450? Nah, not that one. You thinking of the other one? I saw like three Ozzy samples. Ozzy L's or whatever. I thought like three samples of it, but I don't know what was what. What's this Yeezy alien number called? 350? Uh, 380. 400? 380? The picture that came out of these, now granted, is just triple white or white or whatever, but they actually look fire, and I might try to cop them. You saw them in person and said they were flimsy. Though. They super flimsy. We don't need nothing. Foot Locker Man was wearing them, and it looked like his foot was going to fall over on the side. Like his ankle was going to twist. I bet it was. Huh? And I, that's trash. Huh? These are useless. Like they're not good for anything. It's but it's not about that. It's about testing. It's about <laughs> wear test. <Yeah. laughs> yes. What was his name? Night Wang. Um, I'm copping. Probably if I can get them. I have a who aliens suck. I think. I, but the are other, you crazy? But the other colorway is better. Stop it. I mean, what's so what's so good about that? Oh, I'm thinking of the other one. Oh too. no, they the suck too. Renzels, whatever they call. They suck too. What? Stop it. You think everything sucks. You've been talking about how Air Max 90s suck, and you telling me these don't suck? Okay. Air Max 90s. <laughs> it's fine. Maybe don't suck, but they not fire. They're not fire. Don't say it, fam. They're not your top, down in your top three Air Maxes. What aren't? Air Max 90s. Uh, I mean, I wear ones and 97s more now, but that doesn't mean they're not. I bet you like 98s better. Nah, because I don't have any. I, I, I need uh, no, yeah, the no. ones I got, the orange ones. I sold mine. <laughs> oh wait, no, I did. I sold mine. Oh, wait, you know what? I don't know. I have no. I don't know. These suck. Oh. You're out of your mind. Those blow wave runners out of the water too. Uh, it, only thing missing is boost. Those blow wave runners out of the water. How Stop do you, it. How do you figure? What are they called? Three eighty what? What they called? Seven hundred V three. Seven hundred V threes. Aliens are three eighties. Whatever. How does this? How you have to explain yourself? Because they actually look good. I've said that before. Wave runners. What does that mean? Okay, they look better than wave runners. They look more high quality. They look better. They look like design worthy reason to like them. You look at a wave runner, you're like, why do we like these? None of us like wave runners except simple until we saw them in person on somebody who wore them pretty decent. That's when we decided we we're like, okay, you know what? We were wrong about them. These. These are fire in the pictures, and they're fire no, on no. feet. I've they're never, fire in person. No. They're fire. No, I right. disagree. All right. I've never uh, looked at those the same way when I looked at Wave Runners and was like, oh, I was wrong. All right. Well, when you see these in person, you'll be like, oh, you know what these are? Nope. All right. I got a, who does George hate the most? What does George hate hey. the most? Shout out to Andy Green. He sent this through. What? What is this? Who? What? Uh, what? What does George hate the most? Here's the options. <laughs> Where would it go? <laughs> oh, do you hate coaches punting on fourth and one mm. pass past the fifty yard line or Reeboks more? <laughs> I told him what you're gonna pick. No, I don't. I don't hate Reebok that much. What you hate Reeboks? I don't like. Yeah, I mean, I dislike you Reeboks. Absolutely hate. Reeboks. There's nothing worse than like uh, people in control of multi billion dollar franchises who. Can seal a game and would rather punt to the other team. And even if you didn't know what the math was, like the other day, what game was it? Uh, maybe Titans. Somebody punted no. and lost. Oh, uh, yeah, I think it was, who lost in overtime? Oh, Bills. Bills had okay. like that game was interesting. Fourth and four at the 39, 38, 36. Fourth and four at the thirty six. But we're talking about a team and, that's offenses and like I mean what. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Fam, if you punted in the end zone, you know how many yards you gained on that punt? 19. Okay. If you're at the 39. Now, using that as an example, Texans also did a quarterback sneak that didn't make it on, like, what, fourth and one or something like that. Almost lost the game by doing that versus probably punting it or I don't remember they were. Well, they were like close to a field goal, right? I don't remember the Texans ever making a. Oh no, that was when they were trying to seal. No, they went for it on fourth down at the end. Yeah, and then they didn't get it. They tried to sneak. Bills went down, got the field goal, went to overtime. Yeah. 
if they would have lost that game trying to do that quarterback sneak to like try to steal it at the thing, they still the Bills still had to drive all the way down the field. If if Houston gets the first down, the game is over. It, it does. It, it, yeah. Yes, it matters. No, you're right. But I, you would have had a better. First of all, they didn't have to drive that far down the field. It was far, yes, but they it wasn't did. that far. Either way, I want to take that. I would try to pin the Bills back as far as possible, considering their offense is anemic. If they would have won the game off them trying to seal it off that quarterback sneak versus punting it, getting it back a little further. No, I mean, the Bills. No, because they, the Bills the, only scored field goals. They're clearly capable of scoring field goals. They scored one touchdown on a trick no, play because the coach in the first can, quarter. The coach can stand up there with facts, evidence on a sheet of paper uh, we don't that know shows. If he did that though. We don't know what Bill he didn't need to do it, Bill but, Ryan, he, but he could do it. All right, well. Either way, yes, you can have a, you can have the thing here that says, "Hey, this is the decision." If I go for it on fourth and one, or this decision right here, no, you absolutely go for it. The Bills should have gone for it. I think it was the Bills. Maybe it was a different game. Somebody punted from like the 36, 38 yard line on like fourth and four, and the ball went in the end zone, and they gained eighteen yards of field position. Within two plays, the team was already back to where they would have been if they wouldn't have got it for it, got it on fourth down. I mean, what are we doing here? Look, which one do you hate more? Right. You already know the answer. Reeboks. No, the other one. I said you say Reeboks. I don't care. I hate coaches. They're stupid. That's why I hate the Dallas head who they hired. You're out of your mind for that one. And they see what we just hired today on a special teams coach? Oh, my God. Fam, we're building a super coaching squad. I have no if idea what you're talking about. If we're trash now. Who, who was it? Who did they hire? Rams. Fossil man. Uh, coordinator. <laughs> yes, he's been in the game. John Fossil. He's been in the Bones dirt, Fossil. Dirt for 100 years. Bam, they, bro. They found his One fossils. of the best. Okay. Okay. All right. On the Cowboys now. And where was he? Was he employed last year? Or? Rams, I think. We got. So Rams fired him or his contract ran out or what? contract is up. Because they let uh, Wade Phillips go too. We got special teams yes, down Yes, I saw lock. that. We got our defensive coordinator now. We got our head coach on lock. Who's fam. the defensive coordinator? We got the linebackers coach from the Saints, whatever his name is. But did he get to pick his own people or did Jerry Jones pick him for him? Because if he didn't get to pick his own people. Him. He's picking them. McCarthy you, is building a super coaching you better squad. Be, huh? You better be certain Y'all about be that. complaining about super teams. We're building a super coaching squad. Right. Let me tell you something. Every coaching squad should be super. That's how it should work. No, it shouldn't. Yes, it should. It should, but it's not. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, it should. Uh, I mean, yeah, it should, but Man, like you always talk about, there's too many reach. Giants head coach. Giants head coach should hire Wade Phillips and call North Turner immediately. Uh, first of all. Offensive coordinator, defense uh, coordinator. Uh, Best two coordinators in the league. First of all, both those two, you never know what you're going to get out of them. One was a Cowboys coach at one time. North Turner North Turner might be the best offensive coordinator in NFL history. You never know what you might get out of those two. Yes, you do. You You absolutely know. You never know. You absolutely. Now, now, is a roster going to get tired of them after three years or so? Maybe. And that's when stuff starts going downhill. But that's what you do. When you're a young coach, you bring in – Two old former head coaches that are the best coordinators in the league. All the way around. No, let, can I finish? You bring in the old coordinators. They help you as a young first-time head coach take all the pressure off you because they do the X's and O's for the offense and defense, and all you got to concentrate on is making the better decisions for the team. That's it. It should be. Then you have two young guys that you hire that are like up and comers then you hire like as a passing game coordinator and like the linebackers coach and then you know what in t- two three years when those dudes are old and the team's tired of them get them out of here and you promote the next guy that's probably what the Rams did when they got rid of Wade Phillips Fam. they probably have a, had a young guy learning under him and now he's going to be the defensive coordinator look I'm going to tell you this Cowboys perfect situation Cowboys 14 and 2 next year Cowboys retread coach uh, oh, Giants. Retreat's Gi- been with one team for like 10 years. Like, stop it. You act Gi- like he just came from like one team, another team, another team. Giants. Retread coach. Man, if you don't stop it. Giants, young, up and comer, worked for Saban and Bill Belichick. You will not find two finer coaches in the world to learn from. All right. We'll see. About and that. the word on the street is he's a disciplinarian. He threw a kid over the bench <laughs> when, he was a, kid. when he was at Mississippi State. A kid. That's what I have a problem with, too. That's why I don't like college <laughs> coaches. Because he's you can throw the, a kid over the bench. He's been in the NFL for six years. That's fine. But don't call him a disciplinarian because he threw somebody in college over a bench. I can throw any kid in college over a bench. I'm not throwing no grown men over the bench. Who called him a disciplinarian? You just said he's a disciplinarian. No, I didn't. I said he's known as being a tough guy. That's not a disciplinarian. That's different. You used the word disciplinarian. We I'm gonna have to watch this back. I mean, I I'm sorry, it. what? <laughs> I don't use words like that. You just said that to I'm me. I'm gonna have to rewind this because I didn't say that. All right. Well, you said that. I said he's known as being a tough coach. Either way, 
the Giants, because he worked uh, for Belichick uh, and Saban. No, no, either way, whether he's a good coach or not, I don't know yet. But the Giants' job is a great job. You got a young, good quarterback. You got the one of the, probably the best running, back, well, most talented running back in the league. Maybe not the best running back. You got a wide receiver, a young rookie Slade, pretty good. He looks like he's pretty good if he stay healthy. They, they're gonna be all right. Giants are gonna be all right. All right. I don't know what you're talking about, fam. Redskins might be all right too. I'm not hiring. No, another retread stop. who can't coach. Okay, stop saying retread for somebody who's been with the team for like 10, 15, and now they've been with like two, three teams. North Turner. That's a retread. Yes, you don't hire him as a head coach. You hire him as an offensive coordinator. That's the whole point. Okay. Lane Kiffin, you, you don't hire him as a head coach. You hire him as an offensive coordinator. Okay. You can be a retread if you... <coughs> a retread when, when one team for like so many long... is isn't a retread to me. Like, yes, it is. a retread like 13, 14, Somebody in the uh, NFL, been a head coach, got fired somewhere else because the team got tired of don't him. Don't even say about hired McCarthy. We talked about McCarthy before. Don't say that about McCarthy. Yes, McCarthy, retread. Okay, no, you can't say about McCarthy. Okay. You're working he got with, fired from another team in the NFL. No, 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 no. He got fired, but we don't know why he got fired. And I know why he got fired. Because you have a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers who thinks he's greater than everything. If he's not doing good, he's going to blame somebody else who will always take the blame over they blame Aaron Rodgers. That's facts. If Aaron Rodgers says, you know, I had enough of McCarthy. This isn't working anymore. He's gone. Doesn't mean he's a bad coach. Jason Garrett. Fam. I have, ah, Jason Fam. Garrett. Ah, yeah. Fam. Jason Garrett. You making a lot no, of assumptions. No, 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 no. Jason Garrett. I have never thought Jason Garrett you was a bad You making a lot coach. of assumptions. Right. Okay. Jason Garrett punts on fourth and three from the, from the 35 yard I line. Never He's thought, trash. Okay. No, no. I never thought Jason Garrett was a bad coach. I thought Jason Garrett was here too long. That was it. Oh, you know what? Six years? You know seven the seven years? Who, who's, who's, who's the best who's the who's the best coach in the league? Best coach in the league is Bill Belichick. <laughs> what are you talking about? Who's no he's not. Who's the best coach in the league? Bill Belichick. He was. He's not the best coach anymore. Who's Why? Because who's, not a, the playoffs who's anymore? a coach? Of, no. Who's a coach of the best team this year right now? Okay. Yes. Harbaugh. Thank you. Is a, okay. It's right. the end of end of story. Okay. All right. Harbaugh. Look. Only right. thing. Only thing. Okay. You need. Only thing anyone needs to say is or or realize Harbaugh's been in the league that long and he was able to adapt in this long in his career with the same team. Re. Develop his own mindset Whatever you want to say Completely changed the way of thinking And he's starting to change the way of thinking In the entire league Took a guy who a lot of people thought Only could play receiver He's the best team in the league They're the favorite to win the Super Bowl He's the MVP People thought he was a wide receiver He threw 36 touchdown passes And he goes for it when you're supposed to go for it Based on the numbers No one's denying he's a great coach No one's denying that Best coach in the league right now Okay. Yes, I mean, what, this year? Fine. Okay. Like you I'm see. saying, as of current right now, right. best coach in the league. <sighs> nice. now, now, is Belichick's career better? Obviously. <laughs> yes. So, shoeless. Fam, Bill Belichick was responsible for he, hit the game against, who'd they lose to? Uh, Titans. Titans. So, I don't know too. if you saw the retweet. I don't know if you saw the retweet that I retweeted. Probably one of that was the worst coach game based on... Um, decision making in the entire league this year, wait, wait by the him? numbers, by the oh, numbers, both Belichick. Coaches. Okay, worst game coach this entire season by any head coach. Okay, Vrabel did an excellent job. No, coaching. he was terrible. What? He was terrible. Fam, what? He was terrible. How was he terrible at coach? What are you talking about? He did a good job coaching that team to Te- victory. Terrible. All right, all right, all right. your skill. Uh, who, who's the second best coach in the league to you? You, right, right now, not Belichick. Uh, Belichick legend. We're probably uh, Harbaugh, who's the second best? Probably San Francisco man. Shanahan, Kyle Shanahan. Really? Probably. I don't know about that. Right now, as of today, yeah. Fine. Let's, uh, let's see. I don't, I don't like doing as of today. I mean, uh, what do you got, Holmgren? Uh, no, you don't mean you Holmgren. Got- you mean Andy Reid? Andy Reid, sorry. Andy Reid is up there. Andy Reid is. You got to put that up there with Harbaugh then. Andy Reid is probably the best offensive mind. I saw Norv Turner earlier, obviously. That was a joke. Andy Reid is probably the best offensive mind in NFL history, but he is not a good decision maker with the clock, when to use okay. timeouts, or when, or when to go for it on fourth down. Now, now talk coaching. You got to put him up there. If you're talking with Harbaugh, everything you describe with Harbaugh should probably be used in the same breath as Andy Reid. No, because Harbaugh. Is but, like I said, Harbaugh is willing to change himself. What? How many? What? What years is? Eight, ten, seven, six, eight, nine. How long has he been there? Been a while. He is will- He's already won a Super Bowl, and he's willing to change his entire philosophy in his tenth year, or whatever what year it is. Someone will correct us. 
he's willing to change his entire philosophy based on someone coming to him and saying, coach, I can give you way more data to make your decisions. And a guy making $10 million a year or whatever, most people would be arrogant and be like, I don't need you 25 year old MIT nerd. But he was willing to listen to a nerd with a spreadsheet and be like, you know what, let's sit down and talk and you tell me what you can do for me. And when the guy outlined everything, Harbaugh was like, okay, let's try it in game situation. Best team in the league. I agree. I'm not, I'm not. Best team in the league by far. Oh yeah, this year, of course. I think they have the most, well, okay, this might be completely made up, but based on like covering the spread, I think they have the most like blowout covers in NFL history in one season. I don't know about in history, but no, no, in one season. Oh, a season. Uh, Nike bans international shipping. <laughs> I don't. Under, I don't understand the point of it. <coughs> I don't understand the point. Maybe. I mean, I. <laughs> I don't understand why they decided now. Like I, what people have been talking about for two years or whatever about Nike wanting to close mom and pop stores down. What was the one oh, yeah. that closed? Um, or maybe that was a Jordan brand thing. Maybe the companies are run separately. I don't know. Um, I don't understand. <laughs> What's the point? I like I was telling you about the about Hanon. They released those gold LeBron whatever. <laughs> That's right. And they hadn't retroed since they first came out. Um, and bigger sizes were reselling on StockX or Goat or whatever for like two seventy. Hanon's shipped to the U.S. price. I calculated it would have been under retail shipped, like one, like I think it was two hundred dollars for the pair. So it would have been like one eighty four shipped or something like that. And I tried to buy it, and it said you can't buy it. And I realized it was like you know. January 2nd or January 3rd or whatever when it came out I checked later that night and the, I don't even know if it was the next day maybe that they were still sitting the only thing Nike's doing is hurting those companies oh, yeah. so I'm sure there will be a lot of releases that people that live in Scotland or England or whatever would have missed out on because American bots or whatever are winning them but if you're not gonna buy the stuff that would have sold out to American customers <laughs> Guess what? Your companies, your your shoe stores are all going to lose their accounts at some point. If they can't sell the product, they're done. They're going to lose the accounts. They're going to be done. They might go to business. Like we saw that that one went out because they took the Nike account, and that was it. And we talked about how Let me crazy look at that, that is. We talked about how crazy that is that you could take one brand away and that's it. You you go under like because of how dramatic the sales are with that one brand. I don't know what's good, bad. Like, maybe Nike will make more pairs of stuff for us. Maybe. I don't know. I just don't understand the point of it. Yeah, it it doesn't make any sense. Okay, so these are still on the website. Let me see if... The China Moons? I'm going to see what sizes are available, but they're still on the website. Seven and a half, eight, eight and a half, ten and a half, eleven, eleven and a half. Let me check. Resale websites. So 13 was the one that I tried to buy and it wouldn't sell because 13 was selling for like 270 and it would have been 184 ships. So I'd have been, you know, made like 50 bucks or whatever. But let me see. I'm going to tell you something. If Hanon comes out with another collab or something, we can't cop. <laughs> like, what happens to collaborations that are like. like I'm so, not- so a size 11 right now is 260. For the China Moons? Yeah. And they're sitting on Hanon? And they're sitting on Hanon. Man, y'all, y'all better not be bo- bothering anybody in the military too. Yeah, okay, okay. Size 11 and a half, 267, a pair just sold for 265. I see somebody like, yo, this is gonna restore the feeling. Like, well, you gotta have a connect overseas. Man, what are you talking about? Oh. <laughs> uh, you remember what cats had I military mean, cats that was like. Maybe people like experienced that, that at man. some point. I never had that experience. No, but we used to see nerds that. All right, like, but like. People always talk about like whenever something happens, they're like, "Oh, the hunt." Man, I don't care about that. that. The easiest man. thing for me is to sit at home and click a button on my phone. If I don't get it, I didn't get. I didn't get Kobe whatever. Now, granted, Kobe whatever's ain't selling for like five hundred dollars, but I didn't. They're selling for more than what we want to pay. I, no, I know, but I'm oh. saying like, if it was like a off white that I couldn't get or something that I could sell for six hundred bucks and I would have been able to get it easily and couldn't get it, all right, then I might would have been. Like, I mean, you oh, know how many notifications I had to but turn I off. Mm. I haven't turned any of them off. I all still right. get them all on the monitor and can't buy it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, like, I just turn them all. End all the raffles, oh, yeah. sneakers and stuff. I, I turn all that stuff off. Did you try to go into one yeah. of them or no? And it was like, it let me do it, but it, it was a little thing on the thing that said, like, 
oh, if you're a U.S. in U.S. territories, this item will not be whatever. But oh. I the <laughs> and I was like, well, well, okay. end is who I got the off white dunks from so that was yeah, the yeah, last yeah, purchase in, the in, in in history that joke was at the <laughs> <laughs> um i don't understand the point of it i think it's bad for companies i think it's bad for us i don't know if people overseas are like yo we never get them like i, I mean i'm not crying for people who have bots <laughs> i'm not because they're the ones who would yeah, get most of, of that product anyways I'm definitely not crying over spilled milk for them. But the reason but, why we've all had to like venture overseas to cop stuff is because they don't yeah, give enough here. Yeah, it's like, can't. well, god dang. Like, yeah. I, I got a cop from Italy because I can't get at my local joint down the street. So this is so it's like, okay, you won't let me have any of theirs. Can you at least make more here for us? Yeah. Maybe it's good, maybe it's bad. Uh I think the sneaker awards. So I do have all the winners doing the thing. I have a question for you too. Since Sakai's won every single category was in, which I'm not gonna say. Is it way too early to say Sakai is one of the greatest sneakers of all time? Way too early. Really? Why? They suck to me. I mean, all right. They don't suck, but they suck. Don't say stuff like that. <laughs> don't even do that. Don't even say stuff I like put that. them in all the lists. I didn't put them in as many lists as you guys did, but. Did uh, you actually go and vote? Yeah. And I'm about to tell you something that I sucks about our voting on our website. So the voting on our website, it's a free thing, but you can pay for like an upgrade. They never, ever put a limit. So we had over, uh, so what is like 200 times 12? What is that? Whatever it is. 240. 240. Uh, no, no yeah. it's not. Oh, yeah, okay, 240. So we had over 1,100 people try to come vote, but... The voting thing changed to where only 250 people could look at it. So I got people saying, like, y'all won't let me vote. So, like, people were little, people were going to vote, but it wasn't counting it. At the same time or total? No, just total. So the thing was like, oh, I went into the thing to, like, get the results. And it was like, oh, you've exceeded your 200 view limit. You went over it by 900 <coughs> something. I was like, 900 something. So, like, there were 900 plus people that came to the thing that votes didn't count. So I was like, what? is this either way votes are in it, it was like such a landslide in each category <laughs> it was such a landslide each category didn't matter. it was a landslide though. underrated sneaker of the year tell say what the percentage is I didn't write that down man I didn't want to write all that down bro this is this is amateur hour bro. fail all right I mean look I ain't got that much time. you know what let me see let me see if I can pull it up real quick Amateur hour, man. You don't slap me those amateur hour. You think this is the Apollo? <laughs> um, is anyone he, is coming here after a pause? Or? Nope. Okay, good. Um, so let me go to the... Dang it, man. They changed the... Man, what are these cats here? I don't think I Wi-Fi, so... All right. Man, what is DigiLab? Boy, I swear on the head time. Shout out to DigiLab. So. Um, <laughs> fam, come on, man. Um, let me just connect to my iPhone. I got time for this bullshit. <coughs> let me tell you one thing: having a, a Apple Watch and the laptop, I don't even got to unlock it. Right, it man. just unlocks itself. You better chill out. It unlocks itself because I got the Apple Watch. Let's I go. I don't got time for you. All right, so let's. I'll tell you the poll, the winners, and the percentages. You don't got to say the percentage of all the shoes. Just say the percentage of how much they won. All right, so underrated sneaker of the year, the winner. Was Jordan One Turbo Greens that hey, got 40, you didn't even want to put it on the list? B forty three percent of the votes, and number one was I mean sorry number two was John Elliott uh, LeBron yeah, right. Icons, and it got forty percent of the votes. Yeah, right. What do you mean? Yeah, right. Eighty three percent of the people voted for two shoes, man. Well, bow, they bow. did. Uh, rookie sneaker of the year. Uh, Sakai Waffle won with 64% of the votes. And number two was Air Max 270 React, which I was a little shocked by that. So Air Max 270 React got 13% of the votes. So that's that whack. I mean, what? That was, that's really, what else would they chose? Like, that was the best option out of that list. Um, collaboration Sneaker of the Year, Sakai's won again with 47% of the votes. And number two. Mm, what is wrong with y'all people? Huh? Number two was Vapor Max uh, Cactus Flea Market with uh, 21%. I mean, the options of there wasn't like. Once you actually look in there to vote, you're like, mm, it really wasn't a grip to like, you know, really jump out the window for. Man. Uh, wackest Sneaker of the Year, uh, both yours won. Uh,. Mars Tom Sachs Overshoe got fifty one percent of the oh, votes. Oh, they suck. And Jordan One Defiant Couture's got twenty nine percent of the votes. Oh, yeah, they suck. And those do suck. 
Uh, so that was wackiest. Overrated sneaker of the year. We have the winner being. Uh, the winner was. I was shocked by this, and they're both no, technically both yours. Travis Scott Air Force Ones. Yeah. Got number one with thirty percent of the suck. votes, and Fear of God got thirty percent of the suck. votes. Both suck. So those took the top. Uh, G Dragons was yeah, that was third. Um, that's what I voted for. G Dragons. Actually, no, I voted for Panda Dunks. Uh, I'm just way overrated. Um, Jordan won of the year. What do you think won Jordan one of the year? Probably Travis Scott. Travis Scott won that with 31 percent of the votes, and the second one with 29 percent of the votes was Jordan won L.A. to Chicago, which you didn't want to put on there. Yeah, I didn't think it was top five. Jordan. The best Jordan top one. Top five, top five, top five, top five. Yeah. Nah, the other ones I are better than me. Life. Um, Jordan sneaker of the year. Uh, Cactus Jack six is one, like a landslide. Sixty three percent of the vote. Sixty three percent of the votes. And number two was Jordan. I can't Wonder believe Rise. they used that colorway on a six. Jordan one. Trash. I mean, versus what? They still haven't made any of the fours they were supposed to make. I'm angry. Oh, greens, grays, purples, any of those. Purples come out. Well, they canceled the yellow ones. Slapping so, everybody. Yellow what? The yellow Travis Scott 6. So that got canceled, what, yesterday? Oh. Uh, the mustard color, whatever it is. Didn't hear about that. Don't care. And I think that purple is going to stick to family, friends and family. It's trash. Uh, Nike Sneaker of the Year. Obviously, Sakai won that with 58% of the votes. And number two with 18% was... Air Max Por La Familia. Shout out to Marky. Oh, if uh, if uh, like say pairs show up in size twelve and a half on like sneakers or whatever for reasonable price, I'll double up on those. Oh, by far, by it's one of the best. Uh, but my issue was it was not a Nike produced like a, a Nike mass produced idea. Well, you can't ID it, huh? You can't ID it. Yeah, see, you argued you couldn't. I didn't know either when I argued it. I told you I didn't know. You freak. But somebody to me, yo, fam, I just ID'd it. I was like, oh. What are you saying? He sent a picture? Yeah. Let me see. Fam, I got so many DMs I can't go back to it, but you can ID it. Fam, let me see. Fam. It had green eyelets too? Had everything. <laughs> nah, I don't All right. You go go make it. Man, that's taking so much time. All right, well, you don't want to double up. Uh, <laughs> I don't want fakes. <laughs> Non-Nike sneaker of the year. Uh, this was pretty much a landslide with Yellow Tongue 997, Amy Lane Dior's, and then Amy Lane Dior V2 990 yeah. got number 25% of the votes. Like this. Mm. No, okay. <laughs> no, one said, no one said they sucked. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. They should be on the list. Maybe not the 990. Ronnie, Fe- Ronnie Feig should have been on the list too, I think, even, though I, even though I don't like him. Uh, what? <laughs> the the Gel Light 3 was on there? Yeah, we put it on there. Oh, I didn't know that. It didn't, it got last. Uh, yeah, but of the year. I want to see him in person to judge, but they look like the really high quality shoe. Yeezy of the year was, I think I got it right. Black 350, Black Static 350. That's probably the best. Even though it's plain, it's, it's one of the better ones. And then number two, they got 39% of the votes. And number two was uh, the 380 Alien. I mean, they got it. Now this one was whack, and we should have did a better job with the Adidas one. The Adidas one. Look at all them air, them. Uh, yeah, you should have put that. You should have put that high B ball on there. Yes, yeah, like, uh, it was a collab. It was a landslide with a uh, nice kicks winning Adidas. Of you should have put something just to switch it up with the high B ball on Maybe. there. Maybe. And then number two uh, with twenty two percent of the votes was Bape. So trash. What they got it right. No, they didn't. Those babes suck. What do you think? I'm the, gonna tell now, you. that black nice kicks was better than the white one. I'm going to tell you, the I do like those a lot better now. I didn't at first, but I see pictures of them now. Fire. Sneaker of the year. The white Let's one has too guess much white. One and two. Sakai, Cactus Flea Market, Jordan Low Costin, Travis Scott Low one. Sakai one, obviously. Cactus Jack six. Sakai and probably the six because it's olive green. Nope. Oh, then it's Travis Scott Low. Then Travis Scott yep. one. People like ones. So Sakai Waffle got forty-seven percent of the votes. Jordan one low. Travis Scott got twenty point five. Fam. And that's low. And that is our sneak the sneaker award results. Only two hundred fifty people could vote. Dude, dude, <laughs> dude. Ah, <laughs> uh, look. I'll be honest with you. That shows how whack. 2019 was uh, looking back at these I'm like god these it wasn't whack it was whack no it wasn't it was whack 
Have we done a draft yet? That's next year when we do a draft? Yep. You'll look back and you'll after be like, oh, it was draft. better. It was better. Yeah, after the NFL? I have yeah. no idea. You don't got to wait that long. We can do it whenever we want. We can. Uh, we can better do it now for the military. That wasn't messed up. Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. All right. I'm not going to take it out. But, <laughs> you know, it was a joke. You know, draft, draft. What do you do? Um... <laughs> <laughs> That was funny. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I don't got nothing to say. Sakai Waffles, though. I guess Sakai Waffles, three more years, it'd be a top 20 sneaker of all time. That's not true. And, and Sakai uh, Waffles could be considered overrated. Well. This is an interesting uh, piece of information on the news. Obviously, we're not a news podcast. This says the U.S. suffered zero casualties in the missile attack they may have privately been tipped off in advance so, to uh, move their people out of the way only iraqis suffered casualties and this says it gives trump potentially a get out of war free card to seek mutual de-escalation because no americans were injured oh gosh <laughs> i can't uh, this entire thing is a joke i just our entire gu- all this is a joke you know <laughs> Like, we're actually playing with lives and weapons, like, real weapons. Like, it's like, it's crazy. It, <laughs> listen, if they were tipped off and they didn't tell the Iraqis also to, hey, don't be at the base today, that, something wrong with that, man. When I was, like, on a human really, level, <laughs> when I was really preparing myself to get into politics and stuff, like lobbying and stuff like that, the stuff that I learned and knew that I was like, this is insane. I could not <clears throat> deal with any of this. Like, it's nuts. And it's it's got to be even crazier there right now. I'm going to hit up a few people that still work in D.C. and see what's going on, man. Because it's nuts there. Uh, we talked about it a little bit earlier. Oh, Australia, too, by the way, is crazy. I, oh, that I know scary. one. I know one person who was out there, I don't think, anywhere near the fires. And I still don't know anything about the fires, so I'm not trying to do an opinion. But shout out to, like, firefighters and whoever in Australia doing that. Because from what I could see, it looked worse than, like, the kind of stuff that happens in California and Arizona. Shout out to the homie Dave K. He lives in Australia. He lives in Bris, Vegas. He listens to the podcast all the time. He always shares the podcast. Super homie in Australia. I asked him if he was all right out there. And he said, like, he's nowhere near it. But that looked crazy out there. Like, that looks. They said, it's a, I think, a billion animals have died. It looks a billion absolutely crazy out there. Uh, the only ones that should have dipped, that only like the poisonous spiders and all them weird things, they could go. All them <laughs> yes, and stuff, fam. That looks crazy though. Like they showed the map from like space, fam. It oh yeah, the like, entire country. Is it looked out of control. Uh, and that's what sucks about like I mean Australia is gigantic, but it's like, bro, they're just out there by themselves. Like it ain't like. That's nuts. Bro. Like, I shout out to them. Bro. Like, hopefully it gets better. And shout out to everybody out there trying to help and support and send money and all that stuff. Um, Hold on a second. Uh, man, my nose is tripping. Liverpool just signed with Nike. I know you probably don't care about that, but at least in the world of soccer and potentially like Liverpool, because um, PSG is, is with Jordan Brand. Jordan Brand. No, no, Liverpool was with New Balance. Oh. But what I'm saying is, like, it might be relevant in sneakers because maybe the, you'll see, like, collabs and stuff in the future. Well, they can't ship here, so. <laughs> <laughs> you can get the PSG stuff here, you nerd. <laughs> that just started happening, though. That just started happening. We no, can get the PSG, PSG man, stuff here. Slap you, this was, they came out here. This was the first year that's ever happened, I think. No, this is the first year they sponsored by Jordan Brand. No, 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 no. Neymar was plays there, and he had Neymar PSG Jordans, but they came out here. Then now, this was the first year PSG had a Jordan What's brand as a sponsor. What's the other Paris ones that, like, we couldn't get here? I remember, like, mm-hmm. Sneed and them used to be, like... Oh, that's like that traveling three on three basketball tournament. Oh, whatever. okay, okay. I thought that was PSG. Stuff. Nah, no. Oh, I seen, like, somebody at uh, my son's soccer game wearing a PSG. Jordan Brand soccer jersey? That joint was... I'm talking super fire. Yeah, but I don't wear jersey, so. A soccer jersey. And I'm not paying for that either. I mean, you give it to me for free, I'll wear it. <laughs> yeah, so you join the team trial. You got to go open, tr- open tryouts. <laughs> Only jersey I'm wearing is Barcelona or if Chelsea send me a Pulisic jersey for free. I will wear uh, That's it. rugby blacks 
for obvious reasons. <laughs> yes, and New Zealand. I'll wear <laughs> Manchester United for Black, obvious reasons. Black. <laughs> You're a weird person. That's it. I remember the first time I seen Ralph Lauren Blacks at the Dillards. I was like, yo, what is this? Racist. I had no idea what it was at first. I love rugby, though. Rugby should be a bigger sport in the United States of America. Though. It really should. I only watch it on, like, Premiere, and I watch it on Amazon Prime. But the only thing rugby that's, should be a no. way bigger sport in the U.S. Man, chill out. The only thing that's fun is when they pitch the ball, pitch the ball, pitch the ball, and run, and somebody gets smashed. But the, all the other stuff. That's why it should be a bigger thing. All the other stuff, when the people go like this in a line and, like, yeah, I mean, that's, throw the ball in the air that's trash i don't yeah, care about none of that even obviously soccer isn't like i when i was in uh it should be as popular as soccer out here it should be no soccer is way should better. be more no no what soccer's way better but i mean it should be it should be on television like we should be able to watch it on espn sometimes you can not all the time yeah you can no you can't uh you gotta buy them direct tv channels. man australia is, is like 27 hours difference from us that don't make no sense but you know what i mean it comes on at like 4 a.m i ain't gotta watch it all right take delay <laughs> Man, that's when it. Man, I'm Rest in peace, David Slater. <coughs> um, what was I gonna say? Um, Donkic, Jordan Brand curse. Yes, Doncic, not cursed. Doncic, maybe uh, going to that top five level before your boy soon. Uh, no. <laughs> like, let's stop. All right. Um. No, relax. Um, Stop it. Doncic is twenty and might already be top five NBA player. Oh, uh, he's top five in the league right now. Like, yes, and soon top Ante five to, of Ante, all time. Ante to, okay, Ante to <laughs> Kinta Kumpo, whatever he's gonna Bro, be. You better stop calling him Kuta Kinta. He, he's gonna be. He's gonna be top ten all time. That's if he doesn't get hurt. Whatever he will be, and he'll get a championship before. He might be top ten, top five. Talent of all time, but you just got to do way more than what he's done thus far. Way more, man. What? What is way more? You, you well, he's gonna shoot threes now. Uh, stop. Every time we have the conversation, Grand Hill, Penny, whatever people who don't play a long time, you don't put them in discussion. Same thing. Not even close, man. What? If he, if if something happened and he played trash the rest of his career, I, I, that's it. That's what I just said. I, I, I just said. That's as my long as point. I'm health. making. Okay, fine. You say no, I you said he's got to do it more for longer. No, you said he has to do way more than he's doing right now. Not no, no, for longer. I love that. Record. Just do the same thing. <laughs> just do the same. That. Just because you didn't understand what I was saying doesn't mean I didn't say it. He has to do it for longer than f three years or whatever he's been at the. He's been in the league longer than three years, but he hasn't been this good for three years. Donkic, whatever his name is, cursed. Jimmy Butler, uncursed. Miami Heat wins the championship this year or next year. Man. All right. Yes. Want to bet? That's Damn. bad. I already got a hundred dollar bet with uh, Bruce that he said Damn. the Rockets were getting to the finals. It ain't happening. What What's the bet that Miami is going to win the championship yeah. in the next ten years? I'll take that bet. You'll take that bet. Miami is trash. You'll get uh, Miami's the number one team in the East. I think. What are you talking about? Number three. Man, number what? Two. I think the number. You two better two. settle down. Huh? You better do your research, B. I can look at the standings right now and tell you you're wrong. Go read. They, they're top three. <laughs> Doesn't Man. matter. You want to do a ten-year bet, and I pay you in what? You pay me in what? Yes, you pay in you pay in uh, installments. Uh, I no. You, <laughs> you said within the next ten years. You love paying in installments. So that means in the tenth year is when we have to settle up. So when you fifty, and I'm uh, forty-seven, then that's when we'll we'll make the determination if the Miami Heat wins the championship again. What is Miami Heat right now? Oh yeah, this roster sucks. What's the Miami Heat right now? They're in third. I have no idea how because this oh. roster is terrible. Ah, uh, they don't play basketball. And they Bam, they, gotta Bam they have Bam and Jimmy Butler. They have two players. They got uh some good. They got some good players, baby. Kendrick Nunn, trash. Tyler Arrow, trash. What? Tyler Arrow has been been balling, bro. Per is one of the worst in the He's league. He's been balling. His P. I'm looking at his per right now. It's one of the worst in the league. Bro, PEDs. All right. They got uh oh, Lennox, trash, Miles Leonard, trash, Jones, trash, Dragic, okay. They're Robinson. Playing, Who's Robinson? Uh Glenn. Duncan Robinson, trash. They're playing they're playing team basketball. They got a great coach. Who is their coach? Spostra. He's still there? Great coach. Or he went back. He's still there? Never no. left. Great coach. He ain't a great coach. He's not? No. Why not? What happened to him all the other years? They still make the playoffs. Not everyone, but they're still a playoff team. Man, what? No, they didn't. Huh? 
I think Spolstra missed the playoff twice since LeBron has left. Man, don't make me look this up. All right. Room. Okay. Do what you got to do, B. Um, <laughs> but they will they will they will win the championship no, next year not. this year or next year okay next year all it. the Warriors players are gonna be back I what are you it. talking I about I already said it I already said it I'm riding with that too uh, what else to talk about real quick NFL playoffs we kind of talked about the two that team is never winning a championship never are we gonna bet next ten years or are we gonna bet the next two years. They're definitely not winning in the next two years. Let's do let's do three. I'm not betting a hundred dollars on anything, but they're definitely let's not do winning. Three. You want to bet lunch? That's fine. Fine. If the Heat win the championship in the next three years, you have to buy lunch for three years. If the <laughs> you have to buy me lunch for yes. three years. Let's do that there. I'm not betting no lunch over a three year bet. But, all right. <coughs> you gotta buy me something for retail and I'll buy you something for all retail. Right. Let's do that. Uh you can save up. And I'll save up too. Let's do that. Come on, George. Since LeBron left, they made the playoffs two out of five years. Come on. So they lost in the finals with LeBron. They missed the playoffs the very next year. Of course. Then they made the playoffs. Of course. Then they missed the playoffs. Of course. And they lost in the first round last year. Yep. So two out of four years pending this season. Can we make that bet? No. No, last season missed the playoffs. Like I said, two out of five years, and then pending this year will be the sixth year that he's been there without LeBron. So he's trash. Are we making that bet? Two out of three, he ain't been there. Are we making the bet? I mean, two out of five. If the three Miami out of five. Heat wins, if the Miami Heat wins the championship in the next three years, fam, they barely could win it with LeBron on the team. They not winning the championship. Are we making the bet? What's the bet? If the Miami Heat wins the championship in the next three years, you have to buy me a pair of sneakers retail. If they don't in the next three years, I got to buy your next pair retail. No. What? You can't even take a three-year bet? I don't make... What do you... What am I... You want me to save $10 a week so it adds up? You no. You got to do that. You got $180? <laughs> no, not for you. In three years, you, you don't want to do that bet? Not over the Miami You're Heat. Trash. Huh? I'll bet you lunch. So you must be a little worried that the Heat could do it in three years. No, the Heat are trash. They so got to make go, the bet. They got to go through the Bucks. They got to go through Toronto. They got to go make through the, the bet then. Boston. Make the bet. They got to go through Indiana. Cool, Indiana. Maybe it'll stop. Make the bet then, fam. Why? What, the what, what makes you think right. Miami is winning anything? All right, all right, okay. Cool. What makes you think? I'm not even a Heat fan, but all right. We'll, 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 we'll talk about it. Let's do NFL picks. What makes you think they're going to win a championship? Don Sitch, on fire. One of the best players in the league. Top three. Not cursed because All right. he's the we'll curse see. doesn't exist and he's too fire. We'll see. We'll see. Ain't no we'll see. Like, he's, he's already with Jordan. So, you, the curse should already happen if it was real. We'll see. It doesn't happen that quick. Says who? Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, so you just making it up as you go? No, nope. curse is a curse. Mm -hmm. He, I, I, I'm not gonna wish it upon him. I hope he breaks it. Though. I hope he breaks the Jordan Brand curse. I want more athletes to go there and, and prosper and prosper. I don't because then trash shoes get released and no shoes get released. So I don't. I don't well, the Air Lucas are coming. So yes. Uh, NFL picks. Soup stoop. I know. NFL picks before we do our top ten list. I need you to say the pick because I write it down. Uh, first pick. game Vikings at Niners Vikings uh, Niners Better coach <laughs> You want to talk about A trash decision maker That's the Vikings head coach Is trash Now he uh, he Now he's He's a good He's a good coach He's a good defensive coordinator He's a good motivator Of good people coach. He's not a good coach He's not a good decision maker He is A uh, I mean, it, it, it's hard to be more conservative as a head coach. Would than you be he is. shocked if the Vikings won? No, not at all. Oh, okay. If yeah. I was in, I told because I texted you're really high on the Niners. No, no, no. I just no. I just said that the second best coach in the league. No, you've been very high on the Niners all year. No, when I haven't been high, on the, not I don't sure. trust the Niners. Okay, not sure. The well, Vikings. I mean, they want, they had the best record of the NFC, so it's not like <laughs> I mean they earned it. Vikings, <laughs> Vikings win. Uh, if I was in Vegas or Nevada, I would put. I would make three different types of bets. I would bet basically val on value alone on the Vikings, um, Titans, and Seahawks money line outright winners. I would also tease San Francisco, Baltimore, um, and Seattle. Seattle to double digits, Baltimore to two and a half or three or whatever. The Niners to minus one. And then I would also make single bets on basically principle alone on the Vikings plus seven, the Titans plus nine and a half, um, Ma and Houston plus nine and a half. Say the games first. 
I'm just telling you what bets I'll make. Okay. So I'm picking Niners. You got Vikings. Vikes. Next game, Titans at Ravens. This is a sad, these are the two games on Saturday. That's a rough one. No, it's not. I think Ravens are going to win, but if there's a team that could beat the Ravens, it would be the Titans. I mean, they've been the best offense in the league since since what Tannehill took over, but their defense is trash. There's no way they can stop Lamar. I think their defense is good, their but defense when they're is trash, trash, it's trash. Their defense is trash. They have no um, – name one player on their defense. I mean, I can name them because I know some Rabel. of the guys from – Yes. Um, I mean, what's his name? He got hurt for the year, Butler. <laughs> but he's out for the season, I think. Butler who? The the Butler opens the door Butler's and gets your for, drinks? Butler's uh, for New England. Oh, I thought he still was with New England. You talking about Darius Butler or the other? Isn't there two? No, of them? Butler, not. <coughs> no one got the interception from uh, Russell Wilson when they should have handed it off to Marshawn Lynch. Oh, yeah, he's trash. I don't think his last name is Butler, though. I think it's Butler. I don't know. He's trash. Uh, yeah, he's definitely not as good as they thought. Anybody thought he was Wesley good. Woodyard, um, uh, Dory Jackson. Yeah, Dory Jackson's pretty good. Uh, yeah, he is. He, I think he was six. Best rated corner in the league this year. Um, um, and uh, what's his name? Antoine Woods, USC. Um, decent tackle. Who are you picking to win? Oh no, maybe not Antoine Woods. What's his name? You go with Titans. Uh, Ravens? Me kidding me? <laughs> I'm gonna go pick, Titans. Huh? You picking against? No, you're not. You said the Ravens are probably gonna win. You already picked. You're the right, Ravens. but I'm gonna go Titans. No, you're not. I'm gonna go Titans. I picked all the wins this week. Except the stupid Bills ruined it for me. Um, I'm going Titans. And the Bills should have won. I mean, they're up 16 nothing. What's well, the next one? Uh, let's see here. Sunday. Texans at Chiefs. Chiefs. Chiefs are going to win easily. Although Texans did go in, the, in nope. there and beat nope. the Chiefs. That team has no business even being this far in the playoffs. Of course. You know I hate the Texans. The problem is I think the Texans match up pretty well against no, they, no, the they Chiefs. Don't. Yeah, no, they, they do. Don't. No, they don't. Yes, they do. If there's one team that would have go 0 for 10, and if they play 10 games playing in freezing cold, KC, it's the Texans. All the right. Raiders would win in KC before the Texans would. Okay. I wouldn't be shocked if Texas beat KC. They're not beat. Did, did you because notice? KC always loses the playoffs at home. Did you notice when I when I was saying? No, they don't. This is a new thing. This is only. It's been the last five, five, six years. Okay, that's a, a brand that's, new thing. that's pretty new. <laughs> I mean, when you consider the history of KC at home in the playoffs. Um. They haven't won a playoff game at home since Elvis grew back. All right. <laughs> Joe Montana. I'm pretty sure they went to the AFC Championship game last year. So. <laughs> And they and they were about fourteen and two. I can't remember. Who do you got? Let me see. Oh, Jarrell Casey is who I was thinking of, not Antoine Woods. Sorry. Who, My bad, Jarrell. Who do you got? <laughs> <laughs> who you got? Casey or Texas? Man, Kansas City is going to blow their doors off, man. It's not, ah. not even a matchup. Right. I don't know why you think this Texans. Like I just said, I don't like the Texans at all. The, te- the I hate the fact that they won. The Denver Broncos, uh, Kansas City Chiefs. And Raiders have a better chance winning in KC than Houston in 10-game series. Anybody in that division as a rival to that team will always have a better chance to beat the Chiefs over any other team in the league because they it's a rival division no game to them. I don't think the Chiefs have lost a division game in about 27 years, so I don't know why you're coming up with that. But. All right. What else you got? The Texans are terrible. Oh. Deshaun Watson needed a miracle spin out from getting hit. I hated his interview afterwards. Yo, somebody had to be great. I had why did I meet? Man, shut up. You was trash, right? The Just, DB coming full speed at him at the last minute. He was standing there. The DB went like put his head down like this instead of looking at what he's hitting and rapping. He put his head down and couldn't see, and it took a weak hit on him. And we could talk trash. I'm gonna give Deshaun Watson one more year before I start talking about him overrated. Oh no, no, Deshaun Watson's a good player. The rest of the roster is trash. Their defense is trash. He, I think he, Derek, he Derek Carr and them scored play. 24 points on them like that and should have won that game. They shouldn't have won the game because Fuller was out one, too, as well. Like, Fuller being out should have not won. Like, they, well, well, I guess they, they weren't. They don't, they, ever, they don't ever win when he's out. That's why I don't know how the way they won. They don't win when he's out or when he's in, to tell you the truth. They're I mean, better when he's in. But Oh, no. Deshaun Watson is a superstar when he when Fuller's when healthy. No, when Fuller's playing, his numbers are Sean Watson could very well be like KC quarterback numbers. No, he's not. Okay. You can't watch him get hit like that and spin out and make that throw and say he's overrated. I mean The team's terrible. They they have no business playing Hyde. Duke Johnson should get all the carries because Bill O'Brien can't coach worth uh, his way out of a web hair bag. Their defense is terrible and their number two receiver can't stay healthy. That's why. Has nothing to do with Watson. Okay. Defense, terrible. All right. He holds the ball too long sometimes. That's because Fuller's not in the game. If Fuller's in the game, everything opens up. 
Last game, Seahawks, Packers. At Packers. Uh, Seahawks. I think Seahawks handle them pretty easy. Seahawks. Um, Seahawks, Packers have had some, like, classic football games in the playoffs. Like, I don't want to pick all four home teams because that's what I'm on the verge of doing right now is picking all four home teams. You picked all four home teams last week, too? We didn't make picks for last week. No, I, so. know, what, I know you did, though. We didn't make picks for last week. No, I'm talking about in your head. I know you did. No, I didn't because I would have picked Tennessee and I would have picked Buffalo to beat the Texans because the Texans are trash. Uh I feel like (coughs) I definitely would. I definitely would have picked Saints to beat Vikings. I have no idea how that happened. And Vikings, I knew that was going to happen. Everyone knew Philadelphia is terrible. I absolutely. I'm starting (coughs) to hate the Saints, dude. I like the Saints a lot. The Saints are so overrated. It's not even funny. I don't. How are they overrated when they go to an NFC Championship game every year? Literally every year. (sighs) Gosh, like that's fine. I didn't think they sucked, but it's like you know what the. Same- so how did you think they were gonna lose in the wild card round if they go to the AFC, NFC playoff championship game every year? I'm talking about with regards to how good they've been over the last six to eight years, and only have one Super Bowl appearance. Like I think they're picked for like the Super Bowl almost every year by a lot of people. Who picked they're them like this, year? this. Man, I I mean I've seen people pick. Man. I seen Pow. people get picked. Like stop. They got picked. I remember, they got year you were the, they were the best team in the league. No, I didn't. Huh? They, they got picked by people, but you making it seem like there was like the Patriots overwhelming pick. No, right. that's not possible. And during one year, you were talking about the Saints being the best team in the league. Like, last year, they far. Last year they had defense. This year, I'm talking. No, last year uh, they had the best defense in the NFC. Plus, uh, obviously, a really good offense. That's why. This year, different. Their defense Saints, wasn't as good. Packers, both. I mean, my, Vikings' teams. offense is overrated, and they went right down the field and scored in overtime. Vikings' offense isn't overrated. It's just when it works, it works. When it's bad, it's bad. Like, no, it's like, it was overrated. A lot of people think the, the offense is good. Now, Dalvin Cook is a good player. Thielen's a good player. And what's his name can be good when he's not head case. But that doesn't mean their offense is good. Their tight end is 100 years old. I don't think it's good. I think it's like, when it's good today, oh, man, it's good. You're like, God dang, who is this team? And then when it's bad, you're like, God dang, who is this team? No, overrated. Because people think it's good. I don't know anybody who thinks the, the offense is that good. I mean, you only know. You just say you only know six people earlier. So I don't know. I don't have <laughs> Friends. I just, I know no, you, know, you don't need six people. He's not my friend. I mean, your wife, Oscar, uh, Cortez, and Cruz, I don't think have an opinions on the Outside Vikings. Outside of so. them. No. <laughs> That's different. So who'd you pick? I think I'm going to pick, pick. pick Seahawks. Good. You should. I can't pick four road four, uh, home teams because we know that's not going to happen. Uh, I mean, it could. Like, it ain't. The last the Super Bowl, the last two Super Bowl teams have been. The Vikings could teams. win. Titans and Chiefs have zero shot. I'm going to say that right now. Who you got going to the Super Bowl? Um, Baltimore, obviously, because they're going to play every game at home. Obviously, and settle down. No, obviously. Um, yeah, I, I do agree with you that I think the Titans are. I mean, the Chiefs. The, the Chiefs them, probably could, probably could beat the Ravens, but as far as like physicality, the Titans are probably the team Niners. that could be the most. No, I'm talking, in the AFC, you freak. Oh, okay. Yes, you said to the Super Bowl. So okay. Well, so. I'm talking about just beat them. Like, no, a team that could that's beat in them. the Super Bowl. I mean, beat them. Period. Not no. no playoffs. In playoffs. Fine. No playoffs. Fine. So the Titans are probably the only team physicality wise that could compete with them to the Super Bowl because the Texans are trash. They would blow the doors off the Texans in Baltimore. Cold. And no chance. Chiefs are a finesse team. We already know that. Chiefs are going to try to outscore you. Their defense has been pretty good, like better than people game. think. Their run game is run defense is trash, but the, the secondary has been pretty good. good. I have no no idea why because they only have one player. Tyron Matthews has been playing pretty good. Well, he made the All Pro team. I don't Play remember him good. ever being this season on deserving of the All Pro team. Uh, but he's got some really good games. Like, are you like <coughs> okay, he might be back. I don't know why. After but that knee injury, it was like, oh, that's a wrap. I I have no idea why because once he left Cardinals, he was trash. But good for him. Um, well, he went to the Texans. Texas will make you trash. No, no. Well, I mean, you just trash because you trash. Um, anyway, for the car, the Texans after having that bad knee, Chiefs can beat anyone because they can throw to someone running down the field that he's faster than everyone in human history, and just throw the ball to him. So that's why they can win. Um, but Ravens are going, and I would say Niners because the Niners are just the most complete team in the NFC. I, and the Niners' running game is insane. I honestly think that the Texans might beat the Chiefs. So like I one hate to think that. Like one week. The Niners put a running game back in. He goes for 150. The next week, they put a different running back. He goes for 150. The next week, a running back no one's ever heard of, 125. That's a good line. Uh, it's not only the line. The running backs are pretty good. Ah. So, Niners, Ravens, yes, that's chalk, but I don't see. 
Seahawks and Packers are overrated. Both of them trash. Um, Vi- Vikings, not Vikings. Niners should probably be the NFC Championship game. Vikings gonna beat the Niners. No, they're not. All right. Vikings are gonna beat the Niners, and I think Texans might beat the Chiefs. So. Well, it doesn't matter. The Ravens are going to Super Bowl, so it's irrelevant. Okay. Well, I'm just letting you know what could happen. I would much rather watch Chiefs Ravens than any of the other teams of the Ravens. Of course. Uh, and the Texans, the Texans are not winning in Frozen Arrowhead. Okay. All right. We'll see. Listen, the team that beat the Chiefs last year at home, Titans. No, it? no, Titans Patriot. year before Patriots. And the year before was Titans. Mariota beat. Two years ago, he threw the pass. It bounced back to him, but that was. Two, three years ago. That's not what I'm talking about. Year, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. Oh, I don't remember. They went to the oh, AFC no, the Championship before, game and year. played the Patriots, yeah. and the Patriots won in overtime. Yes, and then the year before that. No, two years before that. Then what was the year happened before that? I have no idea. That was I don't even think what's the name was playing yet. Mahomes? I don't even think Mahomes was in yet. I mean that last year was his first full year starting. Last season was his first full year starting. Loss of the Patriots. And then yes. what happened the year before that? I have no idea. Alex Smith was probably the quarterback. Alex Smith has been on the on the Redskins for like three years now, four years. No, he's been hurt for like two. No. Yeah, Mahomes has been in the playoffs three times. No. Okay, so he's only been two then. Patriots lost, Titans lost. That might be it. Maybe I don't know. Could be. Anyways, uh, he's only been the full time starter for two years. What else are we talking about? That it? Man, I have no idea. You watched the Mandalorian? No. It's pretty whack. I haven't even signed up yet. It's whack. Yeah, he's only played two full seasons. Oh. 2017, he played in the final game of the year, and then their quarterback started to the playoffs. So whatever happened in that playoffs for the Chiefs, I don't care because it wasn't the best or second best quarterback in the NFL playing in the game. You watch Watchmen? Nope. <laughs> Do you watch anything besides uh, uh, I would watch Watchmen by myself. I don't think Hannah would like it. It would be like watching that Our Boys or what's that? My Boys. Yeah, My Boys. I don't think Hannah would like that either. Uh, Watchmen started off trash, but woo, it ended fire. <laughs> Double and Murders. You watch that? But you don't watch nothing. Never heard of it. You don't even watch TV. Though. You only watch network television, so I don't even know why you're talking about it. I just named off all those. Did you watch the first episode of Power? Yes. You did? And I was going to text you about that because to me it's hilarious that they're going to like focus every episode on one person. Like, I could tell in the that's first whack. five minutes of the episode that that's what they were going to do, and it's trash. It's because by like episode three, certain people are already eliminated, so you already know who it's going to be. I already know who shot goes. <coughs> You got a guess? I got a yes, guess. The producer called you. Nope. I know who shot goes. So. <clears throat> My guess is the wife because she's the, the wife. One, she's the one that has say. the most animosity the most and and has lost the most. It's the wife. That's who I got. That's my money on. Let's bet. Let's bet a retail pair of sneakers. <laughs> yes, let's bet. We each have the same I character. I watched I watched Power Confidential for the first time, like after the show. God, that show is so whack. Like, I would never watch Terrence J. You already know better. I, t- t- I texted you. I said Terrence J is the corniest human on the planet. He might now, be, he I might not be the corniest like, human on the like, planet, but he's up there. I like it. I like how hard he's worked and where he's come from and like hosting stuff and all that stuff. Like, man, yeah. you know we're talking about like somebody who tried out for 106 in part. Oh, and yeah. And your boy Charlemagne, he got to chill. You know? <sighs> Oh, you're not even going to address it? What do you want me to say? He sent somebody a booty. Like, what do you want me to do? All right. He didn't send a booty. It was booty. a bad joke. He sent his own booty and his balls from behind. It was a bad joke. That's weird. Uh, that's weird and bad joke. Uh, what if I did that to you? I, I would I would think it's hilarious. <laughs> you know, no, I would, you wouldn't. I wouldn't think you were. I wouldn't think nothing else. I People have like, been talking fam. about other sus stuff he's done. I would be like, fam, come on. <laughs> like, it would be hilarious. First of all, if you did it, it would be hilarious because I would never expect anybody <laughs> like you to. Like, if Ryan would do that, okay, well, you're a psychopath. It would, I don't care what anybody says. It'd be hilarious. Uh-huh. You just can't do stuff like that for the internet. You've been doing other stuff. If you gave Alan or somebody for like their birthday party a picture of your booty, it would be hilarious. Now, if you did it on the internet, show everybody would be like, yo, that cat is. It's different. Okay, he did an entire mold, and he's supposedly been doing other stuff. <laughs> I do so, supposedly. All right. Let's do top 10 Air Maxes and go. Oh, I thought we'd done already. No, <laughs> look at you. Trying to finish up. Let's do top 10 Air Maxes. <coughs> trying to go home and watch CNN, B. Ever unto us. Boy, you so enthralled. I don't know why you just won't enlist. <laughs> yes. Just because I like learning about the world doesn't mean I'm trying to enlist in the military. I know Oscar's having second thoughts. Uh, um, what is he? He he signed up. 
I mean, he was going this year. No, oh, he, he, he But I think he was like, <laughs> he wilding me. <laughs> um, top 10 Air Max 90s to us. Unprecedented in sneak disc history. The first dishonorable mention of all time. I don't have any honorable mention or dishonorable. What's a dishonorable mention? The first dishonorable mention of all time. Air Max 90 Warhawks. One of oh, the suck. worst shoes of all time that overrated. No, why is. people love those. Now, I probably shouldn't say this on when our military is getting attacked the night. <laughs> but I didn't consider that earlier. Actually, the bomb hadn't happened when I wrote this list. No, so, we talked about Warhawks all week. There's the <clears throat> First dishonorable mention in Sneak This History. This is uh, unprecedented. We're going to do it from now on. You've seen it here first live on episode 200. What episode is this? I have no idea. 188. All right, cool. Dishonorable mention, Warhawks. Trash cans. I think... Someone would have them number one overall, I four, bet, too. Four, five, six years ago, we would have thought they was, they was cool. Nah. Looking nah. at this, I... and I, I mean, I probably would have put them in, on the 10 oh, yeah. out of respect, I think we but did. I don't think they would have been cool. I think though. we did, like, they still not cool when we did it. But... Well, I put Bacons on here, and you and you hate Bacon, so... Bacon suck. And they don't suck. Bacons they don't. are absolute nonsense. I saw the price of the OG Bacons. I couldn't even believe my eyes. You mean like pe what people are paying online or retail? Yes, on like StockX or oh. Go. I was like, I, I couldn't even believe it. <coughs> I was like, fam, this is not even real that these Air Maxes are going for this. Something that's like different shades of, of pork, fam. If we don't stop. It was an artist who owned a store in New York City. That's like the stash and the story of all those cats man that stuff is like uh, leave me alone that stuff is like um, DQM what's it called Dave's quality meat man they better <laughs> ah right <laughs> them is trash and Warhawks you're 100% right Look you gotta chill out bro. in the thread first you talking about Charlemagne booty now you talking about this though? in the thread I said Warhawks were probably a top 10 them joints are absolute nonsense. So they might be the tackiest thing I've ever seen in my life. That's gonna be Ooh. old man talking. It's gonna be old man. Fam, that was got a mouth. I think some of the animal shoes are more tacky, but, no, but whatever. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that because Krampus, animal. you Krampus is your most made fun of shoe of all time. Of all, it's not an animal shoe. Oh, Krampus is an animal. Dude. All right, he ain't real. He's a half That's animal, real. half human. Okay, he's not real, so that doesn't count. You don't know that. All right, you would think he was real, but you don't think that Texas can beat the Chiefs. <laughs> Yes, that's one thing I should believe in is the Texans on the road in 20 degrees. Oh, uh, but you can believe the Krampus is out here taking kids on Christmas. I talked about the Krampus with somebody and they heard a completely different. W were you with me? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, this was in California over the holidays. I forgot to tell you this story. <coughs> now, I'm not going to ruin this because apparently he works for a production company and they ha think they have like they have a movie script and they think they have funding secured and we asked him how much the movie was going to cost and he said $75 million. So... This could not be about Krampus. The story is about Krampus this but they have a, a completely... Movie. Yes. Okay. But they have a completely different version of... His version of Krampus is Krampus takes the toys. Like Santa brings the toys or whatever and if the and if Krampus knows the the kids bad he oh. takes toys I'm like nah bro that's not Krampus Krampus takes the kids <laughs> so is he making like a kids movie <laughs> no. has to be a kids movie what's the point of making the Krampus take the toys he said that the the European version of Krampus is just different but, so anyways oh, I'm not gonna talk about it too much but. right now though. they can't do Krampus right <laughs> Stuff is I forgot to tell you that missiles story. everywhere. You can't buy <laughs> Nikes overseas. I'm overseas is getting out of control. They try to make Krampus a nice guy. Krampus out here taking whips. I don't know about, <laughs> I mean, Krampus, I don't know about a nice guy, but Krampus out here doing motor vehicle theft. Um, top ten Air Max nineties to us. This list is whack, except the top five. <laughs> I'm gonna go first. Should we just do the 10 or do 5, 5, 5, 5? I don't care. I got honorable mentions, too. Oh, you want to go for it? You go honorable mentions first. Honorable mentions. Uh, washed denim. I'm not going to say Air Max 90 every single time. You're joking, right? Honorable mention. The washed denim? Infrared washed denim. You and I hate every single shoe that has denim on it. Yeah, but it looks all right with the infrared. Oh it's an honorable mention, man. Relax. That should be a dishonorable mention. No, dishonorable mention is Warhawks because Warhawks impression or um, dishonorable discharge perception is up here and the reality is down here. You need to stop talking about military stuff. <laughs> um, King of the Mountain. 
You know what that is? Oh, those are fire. They look like Moabs. Like yes, they fire. did it on the Moab. That basis. should be in the top 10. I don't have it in mind. but I thought about it, but I didn't do it. It's a fire shoe. Um, the Hyperfuse pack. Like, not the not the infrared hyperfuse or the Independence Day. The other the ones, Volt. like Volts. Yeah. Um, they're pink, but they're called solar, solar red. red. I would have put those in the top 10 probably, like, last year, two years ago, three years ago. Yeah, only reason I didn't is because there's two other hyperfuses in the top 10, so. Three in the top 10. Well, I, oh, you'll see what I did. But, okay. Um, and then I know you hate it, but it's still fire to me, the off-white desert ore. You don't get that in your top 10? No, I forced it in my top ten, but I forced it because out of everything else, everything sucks. <laughs> I definitely want to hear your list because I thought for certain you were gonna put the vaults and all that in there. I was like, I'm not. I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna King of the Mountains, I probably would bump up. Like that's the one I would bump up if I had to, because I actually looked at that for a while and I was like, oh, these are actually fire. fire. I think the laces need a different, like a lace change, but. Like, if you put pink laces in them joints, whoo! They go for way too much, too. All right, they're not that much. I mean, well, that's all on gold. Like, my size is 348. That's a lot. I think I saw like 260 or two something. Um, I mean, that's more than I would pay, but I wouldn't say a lot. I'm going to go through my 10, just because it's <coughs> a little late, whatever. Number 10, I got Air Max 90 Lunar, the moon ones. I like the way they look all the time, but when you, in hand, that's why I got my number 10. In hand, gosh. It's, I think that's too low. Gosh, they're fire, but like in hand, the whatever it is, the scraper, the moon on it. Eh. Bruh, on GOAT, these are 750 What, the Moab joints? King of the Hills? Yeah. Uh, um, 750 man, what? They're expensive. Number nine, I got Air Max 90 Off-White Desert Ore. When I see people wear them, fine, fine but eh. Fine with it. Uh, number I like eight, it. Then I hope you got the OG off white on your list then, and you hate those. Um, uh, no, I don't. Mm. I don't like that shoe. Uh, number eight, I got Air Max ninety Viotex, the one that you have. Yep, I think they're they're just that good. Uh, number seven, that might be a pair of regret not buying. Fire, you still can get it. <laughs> oh really? Oh well, I, I mean, it, that it, somebody tweeted it about to it today. <coughs> somebody Add tweeted it to about budget. it today. There was pairs left somewhere. Or restocked uh, or something. Number seven, I got the Air Max neon yellows, the OG. I mean. Fine. Like, they don't suck. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, original color with the with yeah. the volt or whatever. And or then neon. number nine, I have the OG infrared. The OG model infrared. I'm sorry, number six, the OG infrared. That's oh, out of just out of respect. How, how was that so? No, there's much better ones than the OG. Fam, you're tripping. Uh number five, I got the Air Max ninety off white OG. You're tripping. That joint is fire. All right. And it blows Desert Ore out the water. That's 100% fact. Nope. And you might argue the black it's ones are all better. white, man. What are you talking about? I love it. It's white with shades of gray, the ice, the, all that. You don't got that many shades. Number four, I got Air Max 90 duck camos. Atmos. Fire. It's too okay. low. It's too low. Fire. Number four? It's too low. Stop it. Then you, then you, your list is already tried to. You got it more than that. <laughs> nah, number no, three? It's too low. Number three, I got Air Max 90 Hyperfuse Japanese camo. The Hyperfuse? That's too high. Oh! It's too high. You're crazy. Oh, three. It was three. What? Three hyperfuse. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Number two. Well, I didn't have I didn't have that one written down as hyperfuse. I know it is hyperfuse, but I just had a Japanese camel. Number two, Air Max 90 Hyperfuse OG. <laughs> Infrared. Wait, 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 you just said I thought that was number six. No, number six was OG infrared. Suede leather. Yeah. Number three, number two is Hyperfuse. Oh, I thought you were. No, no, no. no. Oh, yeah, you Hyperfuse. Tripping. You tripping. I love that shoe, but I think it's over the years it's gone down on my list. You're nuts. And number one, <laughs> clearly number one, is Air Max 90 Hyperfuse Independence Day Reds. Clearly. Just, not even a question. Just put them all in one line. <laughs> not even a question. It's not number one, but just put it all in one line. Air Max 90 is one of the only shoes where the other, the alternative material, like Hyperfuse or whatever, is, blows the OG out of the water. Nah, I don't agree. Out of the water. I used to agree, but I don't agree no more because the back of the shoe is t too hard. Where, you like, by the way, have you seen what Flying It uh, Air Max 90 is itself for now? Yeah. The infrared ones that Simple got Lord. like half. I don't have them. Oh, That's why I'm upset. Oh. He came in here wearing that one day and was like, oh, these are Flying It. And we were like, they suck. And you could get them for half price. Them joints are about 280 now. They're a grip, man. All, all the Hyperfuse are high. Even the OG Hyperfuse is high. The infrared ones? Nah. It's high. It's not that high. I mean, it's, 
240. I love that. Uh, number 10, Viotech's the one I got. Not the OG Viotech, the one with yeah, the like the one that you peach have. or pink on the back. It looks way better. When you see them next to each other, it looks way better. Uh, number nine, Pata Homegrown. I think I just put that in there out of respect because for pe- what Pata's done with Nike is fire. The shoe, I don't like lasering on shoes. You know that. It doesn't suck. It's just green. So I don't know. It doesn't suck. The St. Patrick's Day is the only green one. No, no, no. no. Right that there. sucks. It has too much on the shoe. Way too much going on. Um, number eight, Bacons. Um, have you looked at the materials on the original Bacons? Yeah, it stank. It's raw meat. Uh, all right. I don't know what I'm talking about, fam. Bacons are so bad. It's some of the best leather, like, oh, no. like on a shoe. Okay, let me put it this way. Sorry. Bacons don't suck. Pink brown. The shoe is fire, but like they shouldn't be as fire as everyone like. Well, yeah, it's not a thousand dollar shoe. It's not a two hundred fifty dollar shoe. You'd pay two fifty for it. Are uh, you crazy? Yeah, if I could sell it for five, I'm not paying two fifty for that. What? If you get a pair of them, you're wearing them. It's gross. Calling them bacon. <coughs> well, I don't understand why that's such a big deal to you. It's just nasty. You, know? you okay with like horse hair on a shoe, but bacon? Oh, that's over the top. They not call horse hair. Right. <laughs> so that's a difference. Yes, if it was horse hair, you'd be. And then be like, yo, get the horse. The horse AJ sixes. Nope. Yes. That's gross. Number seven, Japanese camo. Number seven. Yeah. Just be happy it's on the list, man. Number six, Hyperfuse Infrared OG. That at one point That's was probably my probably by my favorite shoe of all time. No, you had a three. I had number no, I had oh Hyperfuse, sorry. Yeah, Hyperfuse Infrared. You're whack for having that out of the top five. No, no, no. Yeah, you are. Um, Lunar SP Moon Landing, number five. You're whack for having that out of the top five because you probably have Independence Days in your top five or three. Yeah, you're right. And you shouldn't. But it's a better shoe. Just because I didn't own it doesn't mean it's not a better shoe. I'm not, how is it a better shoe? In, Independence Days is better than Infrareds. What, what do you mean better? Like... You just like the red better than the OG? I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying the materials oh, are better. Like, what, <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, I'm not even saying the shoe is built better. Oh, man, what? Nice. It's a better... I mean, is that not an acceptable word for you? It's fine. It's a better shoe. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't better know. Better color? It looks better. What do you... I mean, is that better okay? Better colorway? Yes. Okay. Is that, does that not work for you? No, you tried to do that to me when we went to lunch. No, I you, said a shoe nah. sucked. You said, the shoe no. doesn't suck. No, no, no. Right, the model doesn't no, no. suck. Because, no, no, no. I didn't do that. Same thing. Because we argue all the time. You say suck way too much these days. Now, you, you say now you say it's, this now you say it's not fire. That's fine. But don't say it sucks. Don't trip. You literally said... What did you? I say said Warhawks suck. <laughs> you said something else sucked earlier. You're like, okay, these don't, they don't suck. I forgot what it was. Nah, but you've been tripping on fire and suck. You've been was switching them up way too much. Number four, I don't know why you didn't have this on your list. Atmos Black Tiger Camo. What? I like them. That I will mention, but then you must got. Wait a minute. What number are you on? Four. Then you, if you don't got duck camo, number three. Duck camo. Okay. Infrared duck camo. Okay. That's fine. But so not putting what? the OG Hyperfuse infrared in there, but you got Tiger one in there? Tiger should have been fine. seven. It's fine. Switch them. Six and four. You're I don't care. you disrespectful to the Hyperfuse infrared OG. I told you, over the years, it has gone down. If I could wear it with low socks and it wouldn't tear the back of my heel up because the materials are different, then I would care more about it. I wish the Viotex, the Viotex that came out. But I can wear low socks all day long and it doesn't cut into my heel because it's the original build of the shoe where the soft cloth in the back. I don't know what they did with Hyperfuse, but the back of the shoe is the hardest plastic no, I've ever seen. Right in my now. T- it's hard. Yes, the higher, hardest plastic in my entire life. Um, number three, duck camo, infrared. You number stronger ankles. Number two, all right. Yes, stronger skin. Stronger Achilles. Yes, stronger <laughs> skin. Number three, uh, two, Hyperfuse. I just put the Independence Day pack. All the colors are fire. The red one's obviously the best one. The entire pack's white fire. White one's whack. And no, the blue one is. It's a white shoe. What do you mean it's whack? And the blue one's fire, too. You know it is. No, no, no. The blue one is. It's fire. Okay. No, it's fire. No, it's okay. No, it's fire. And the white one's awful. No, it's not. Man, oh. what? It's a white shoe. Don't do that. It is extremely whack. It's a white shoe. You wear. Stan Smith is one of your favorite shoes of all time is white <laughs> what are you talking about okay. you love the model it's not the same thing <laughs> okay. that is way too much white uh, and it's like crystal white Stan Smith is like like taupe you expect these people <laughs> to take you seriously <laughs> uh, number one of all time OG infrared the original way is built is the best the Air Max 90 built, of man. all time you stop the original Whatever, however you want to call it. OG Infrared Air Max 90, the best Air Max 90 of all time. When it comes out again, I'm buying. Why? 
<clears throat> it might be, and this is going to be controversial, it might be the best color blocking combination of all time. Dark gray, light gray with the infrared. There's just something about that that is a fire. When you I don't look, think that's that far out there. When you look at it, it's like, oh my god! Whoever came up with that in freaking 1989, that's pretty good. I would probably say neon volt, whatever it's called, MX 95s blocking of the different grays might be better. But I mean, it ain't far off. Like infrared, that shoe might be the best color block shoe of all time. Now, the only other one that you, you could argue 95s though. No, 95s not even in the what? conversation. The only other shoe that I would put in the, I mean, there's a lot of shoes over the years that have been color block well. The only other original shoe that I would put in the same conversation is Air Max 1. Because when you look at an Air Max 1, the way that the the leather is designed on the on the inside and the outside of the shoe and, and how it um, the gray, the light gray is like that one piece, the swoosh is white or whatever, or blue, and then the or red, or you know, depending on what color you have, and then the toe box color matches the swoosh. Fire. Maybe I have to revisit that topic another day. Infra, listen, they put essentially pink on a shoe in 1989, 1990, and people loved it. Uh, All right, you know what I mean? Technically, like, yes, but like back then, it's considered like hot pink. Like, I mean, all of Agassiz's entire <coughs> line was a neon something 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 yeah but that was before air tech challenge 2 i think air tech challenge 2 was like 91 92 93 something yeah, like that well uh, i guess it was <coughs> i mean i can look it up right now but i'm pretty sure it was 90s but that's that whole like era like uh, pinks and neons and volts and not from dudes d d d uh, i wore a lot of neon oh, yeah neon colors there. i don't know about pink though i mean it's all of it Man, there's a million other neon colors that aren't pink. Green, Anyways. lime, orange, uh, blue, everything. Highlighter color. Shout out to the homie Chris. Get better. He was what I'm talking about. That's family. So get better. Shout out to him. Uh, appreciate everybody who listens, likes, subscribes, all that stuff. Uh, if you want a hat, be on the lookout. Give me five weeks. Stay coming. Anything, George. I say this is going.